Oh, well, uh, we're back. Oh man, buy a, buy, a, buy a microwave. Don't tell me what to do. I probably will buy it. Well, you know what? It, it, it's got it, it, it's one of these days. One of these. One of these days, right? Load a game. The dopers. The dopers permadeath. Oh, you gotta play on permadeath, right? The dopers. It's been four years since I last played this. All right. Well, we started yesterday. We made a good start. Uh, Boomer has is has become a yeoman. I, I still haven't explored a lot of the uh, the DLCs, so that it's all new to me. But I mean, I I kind of vaguely remember how to do the basics. One thing, one takeaway from yesterday is that the shelves are incredible. They're so good, it's so much better than having storage zones, right? You can put lots of stuff on shelves now, which we've enjoyed. Um, we need a we need a researcher. We need somebody smart to join the colony. And then uh, we can hopefully do some nice uh, researching. Let's also get a torch lamp inside the jail here for our for our prisoners. When we have some prisoners, we'll probably get some. Boomer is just enjoying some uh, some uh, some soaking wet horseshoe. Nice, good job, Bella Rose. Good job. I feel like maybe we could uh, have a uh, an entrance to here from in here too. It would mean moving this uh, cabinet, though. Is it possible to m move? Reinstall at. Oh shit, it is. We can reinstall it there. We can move all this crap. Reinstall it there. And then if I go into structure and build a door here, <clears throat> they don't necessarily have to go outside. This will be useful in case there's like a nuclear winter or something, right? The next artist to turn up is mine. Liz, that's me. You need an artist badge? I think I have a spare one. I'm not sure, I'd have to look into it. I feel like I have one though. I feel like there is a spare artist badge. Will they not, uh, will they not butcher this, uh, Yor this Yorkshire Terrier um, for meat? Not possible? They don't want to eat dog meat. Is it is it uh, is it considered like um, almost like a, like a, a minor cannibalism? <clears throat> oh, it's rotten. Oh, it's rotting away. I see. Okay, so in here then we do not want rotten. In here we want corpses. Um, we want rotten. We want fresh animal corpses. Um, how do I do this? How do I make it so that I accept only rotten animal corpses here? I only want the rotten ones. I don't want any fresh ones. Can you be a, colon a colonist next, pretty please? Sure. Flesh but rotten. Flesh but wait. Flesh but rotten. Allow large corpses, human like, animal corpses at the very top. Priority No. At the very top. Disable fresh. Ah. Uh, I see. Yeah, I know, but then um, it's not going to allow any... Um, it won't allow um, us to drop any uh, raider corpses here fresh, you know? It's okay, we can make a different one. We can make a separate one for fresh raider corpses, right? We just won't allow colonists. Maybe we can store them, like, in inside a vault so that people don't walk by them all the time, you know? Corpses are fresh. You can get a fresh one, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <coughs> I don't see why not. They're they're very fresh at first. They drop off quick though, I would say. Norm norm norm. <laughs> norm! Norm 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 norm. Nice. He's got his own cabinet down here, Norm. Uh 48% grown on the smoke leaf, 51% grown on the potatoes. Very nice. Um, I guess we want to start mining some stuff as well, right? What's the... What is the deal? 
I guess we could deconstruct some of this stuff too. Chop down some of these bigger trees. I guess we're going to want to plant some trees at some point as well. A uh, zone, a growing zone. Let's get a growing zone behind here for trees. Okay, in here, we're going to have... Oh, how do you do trees? Hot plants, cotton plants, hay grass. Let's grow some hay grass back here, actually. That'd be pretty good. What point is a corpse not fresh enough for consumption? Asking for a friend? Uh, it's, it's, it's down to the individual. Oh, you need research to be able to plant trees now? Okay, sure. Hay grass will be good, though. We can start doing some animal stuff, right? We can get, uh, we can feed some alpacas, make an animal pen. Give Chartres something to do. <clears throat> yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, right. So in here, we're going to have... We're, we can cook simple meals when we have uh, the stuff that we need for simple meals. Uh, we don't want to attack this cougar. We do want to attack this turkey, though. Let's start getting some more meat. Um, let's... Uh, harvest these medicine plants and we have some berries and crap here that can be harvested which we should probably harvest there's a mega sloth that we could try to tame could be nice get some more medicine what else is out here all sorts of crap there's a steel urn here should we uninstall some of these steel urns perhaps fix them up an ancient style decorative container. Maybe we want to uh, install these in our throne room or something. I don't know. Just work, cutting, plant cut, plant cut. Nobody else is going to do plant cut uh, is trees as well, right? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. <clears throat> the urns are more useful deconstructed? All right. I just wanted to um I just wanted to make it make it look nice, you know. We can we can always deconstruct them after. Let's just get some nice urns for now. Look at this. Oh, yeah, the decor of this room is really coming together now. The we're we're really concentrating hard on getting the feng feng shui as correct as possible, right? always important. Okay, we're going to reinstall this research bench. Oh, I always press the wrong button. Let's reinstall it here, and then we can get um, another torch over here, too. Furniture, torch lamp, just to light up this side. This is kind of turning into a bit of a workhouse, which is uh, nice, actually. I don't mind it so much. Just for now, you know. We're going to need a little uh, bench or something. We're, oh, no. We could just uh, move this one, right? Reinstall this here. And this will make create some more space. Let's uh, reinstall this. Like so. And then furniture. I can get another shelf in here. Nice. Running out of places to store wood. I was me I meant to make a uh, dining room, which I still haven't made. Maybe we can start working on that too. We'll make it down here. Doesn't need to be humongous. <clears throat> Let's do it like that. Um, floors. Some wooden floors. We're just using wood for now, I think. We can use some other stuff later. Uh, floors. Where's our floors? Floors? Floors. Floors. Outdoor floors. Concrete is steel. Sandstone tile. We need sandstone blocks, which we don't have. We don't have hay for straw matting. There's f sandstone flagstone. 
So I guess we want to make a, uh, a block thing, right? Production stone cutter table. All right. Bella Rose has a whole bunch of jobs queued up, ready to go. Am I ready for the big Dota update coming out soon? I'm always ready for the big Dota update. I live for the big Dota updates. When I know that there's a big Dota update around the corner, I get so excited. I get more excited than Bella Rose does when there's a whole bunch of construction tasks to be done. Look at her go. We got to really get our um, smoke leaf production up and running. That'll be good, right? That'll be really good. Um, so hang on a second. We want to storage. Um, build a copy. Oh, I could have built a copy, actually. How do you, um, how do you copy this, the settings? Clear all priority preferred storage. You can link them. N. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Copy settings. And then here we want to paste settings. Nice. All right. Perfect. Contains Radad, the miner, dead. Died on the 11th of April, May 5500. Rest in pieces. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store enough food to survive. You can build a walk-in refrigerator to prevent food from spoiling. To prepare, prepare for winter, buy steel or make some parkas, or you'll freeze when you step outside. We're on it. We're doing it, I think. Production. Uh, we're going to need a, a hand tailor bench eventually as well, which we're going to put here. Nice. We've got to get people uh, working. We're going to need to make some uh, benches, wooden stools for them to sit at as well, right? When they're doing this stuff. <coughs> nice. Okay. We need to, uh, we need to tame this alpaca, right? Once we've tamed an alpaca or two, we're away. What the heck is this? An ancient exostrider midsection. Contains an ancient mechanoid transponder. Attack it to destroy it. Oh, I will. I will. I think we might die if we don't get some research soon, though. This is an ancient nav beacon. So this used to be a place where the ships could land? Alright, there's not there's not very many critters out here to uh, to kill. We could try to tame the mega sloth. There's a huge bear out here. There's a couple of bunnies. Let's get out here and harvest some of this crap. Oh my god. Chartres Z's out. He's he's answering the call. Good. You love to see that. Stock up on some medicine and stuff. We should have a fair few of these. Six herbal medicines currently. It's not bad. Alright, Boomer's gonna make uh, all this stuff. Bella Rose is going to prioritize hunting before she does um, any more construction. Which we'll need to be a bit mindful of. Oh shit, there's another turkey here. Oh no! Oh, it's okay, it's running away from a rat. <laughs> I thought she accidentally shot the rhino. You gotta be careful sometimes with, the, uh, with these hunters, right? They hit the wrong thing. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Okay, perfect. Alright. Bring this turkey in. Maybe we need to get some more turkeys. 
can we can make a we can do we can start a turkey breeding program. Might be nice too. All right, Bella Rose, back to work. Nice, perfect. It's getting all soggy inside the dining room. Cargo pods, perfect. What's in them? Oh, look at all these potatoes. There's more potatoes. All right, go get them. Let's cut some of these uh, medicinal plants as well, or harvest them, I should say. We've got some visitors too. Wow, look, Jane, Joe, Howard, and Strange. Maybe they got some good, good, some good goods to trade. They might have some good goods to trade. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. Get this. So, gonna be a lot of bear meat. Holy, they, uh, they dispatched that bear very quickly. That would have wiped out my whole colony. Okay, furniture. 3x3 three three table. It's kind of big. That's fine, though. And then we want some dining chairs. And then we'll probably want, like, some uh, decorations and stuff, too, right? A fungus dark torch. End tables, braziers, braziers, braziers. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, and a torch as well. This is this is uh, not modded. Yeah, this is just vanilla. We're too scared to uh, to do anything else, right? Trade with Joe the trader. What do you got, Joe? Okay, Joe has. Um, he's got a couple of package survival meals. He's got a couple of components. He's got some medicine. He's got three reinforced barrel, a smoke launcher, and a steel crown, normal. 229 bucks. We don't really have anything that we can sell. We can sell them two smoke leaf joints for eight bucks each, which is basically double what we paid for them. We have a lot of medicine. And we have a couple of packaged survival meals that they want. Um, but the trader will not buy bird skin, light leather, guinea pig fur, mega sloth wool, herbal medicine, steel wood, or a plasteel knife, normal 95%. What can you do, eh? We got 599 bucks, apparently. How many of this item the colony has ready to trade? No, that's not our money. How much silver do I have? Where does it say my uh, my money? Oh yeah, this is. Sorry, I have five hundred ninety nine bucks. Sorry, it's right at the top. I'm I'm dumb. I am kind of dumb. I do my best, but you know. Mm. Passing near the remains of an ancient exostrider mechanoid, Chartres noticed an intact transponder inside. If you could get the transponder. You could read valuable information from it. The massive mech is smashed and fused into a solid piece. You must destroy it to re retrieve the transponder. Be careful. The incendiary weapon cells look unstable and will likely detonate after you do some damage. All right, so we don't want to melee it is basically what they're trying to say, right? That's fine. We'll shoot it from far away with a rifle. We'll shoot it till it's dead. Okay, good job. I look at it. We planted a new plant. Let's see what this chair, how this chair comes up. It's taking a little while. It's a uh, wooden dining chair pour. This room is awful as well. I think Bella Rose will just get better at making stuff over time. You gotta start somewhere, right? She chose to start with a poor chair. Maybe her next chair will be a step up from that. Who um who currently does all, all this stuff? Who's the one? Who's the one who does this stuff? Look, we can put this here and it, it'll hit all three of them. We could put it here and it'll hit 
two of them, it looks like. We can put it here, and it'll hit three of them. It's 200 steel to make this thing, but it's probably worth it, right? I think it's I think it's Boomer that's meant to be doing this stuff, butchering and cooking meals. All right, our visitors are leaving. Good job, everybody. Boomer, we gotta prioritize these cuts, right? Before these corpses start going bad. There's gonna be a lot of leather and stuff here too. You're gonna have to stay up all night. But wow, look at the meat. That is so much meat. Our dog must just be, like, having, uh, like, night terrors around the scent of all the meat. Okay, let's haul all this stuff. We're going to need to start, um... What's the, what's the key for mining? Is it, uh, oh, L. Okay, we're going to mine all this stuff out. Cut these logs down. We're going to need to have some stone storage in here for our stone cutter, right? Who can actually do any of this stuff? Crafting? It's a it's a Bella Rose job, it looks like. Crafting. Smithing and tailoring as well. She's not very good at any of this stuff, but she does have a uh, flair for art. And being a warden as well, Bella Rose. Okay, Warden's got to take top priority, right? We, we desperately need another uh, colonist. I know it's going to be hard to support them, but... We should have some food coming up pretty soon. 75% grown. We're going to have a big potato harvest. We should have a really big harvest of smoke leaf as well. It's unlikely that we're going to get this medicine before the winter. We'll see, though. Bella Rose is carrying this colony. Yeah, I know. Bella Rose seems to be able to do just about everything. It's kind of nuts. Bella Rose just sleeping outside now as well. She's in good health. At least there's that about it. Okay, she made. She went from making a poor chair to a normal chair. A bookworm from the Billa Treaty is passing by. She's named Ablican Koala. A bookworm. Koala. Good at cooking. Oh. How can... It's a teenage archer. How can we... Um, Belarose, can you... Um, can we do anything with her? Can we, like, arrest her or something? She's just passing through. Capture her. I would love to. Hey, Thibs. I finished my first jigsaw puzzle the other day. Nice. I was so proud as it said three to five years. God, Only that's... took me 18 months. Lots of love. Try to arrest Koala, the bookworm. 100% chance. The person you're trying to arrest, arrest may not go quietly. Hey, Gaz, thanks for the 10. Uh, congratulations on completing your first jigsaw puzzle as well. That must have been a huge achievement for you. I'm so proud. I said three to five years. Only took me 18 months. <laughs> oh, you go! You you did it! You did it! Under time and under budget as well. That that's that's it's commendable. If you arrest a non-colonist or a colonist from another faction, their entire faction may become your enemy. This arrest has a hundred percent chance of succeeding based on the social skill of the arrester. Well, it's a risk that we're going to have to take. She's a good cook and she's a good intellectual as well, and we need those things. You're coming with us. Okay, the Billet Treaty have broken down completely, relations-wise, with us. They are now hostile to you. They will conduct periodic raids on your colony? Sure. Okay. Hang on. You're doing great, Dad! Yes. Finally, Dad, I'm so happy you are playing RimWorld. I could cry. Did you choose a good Hang idea, on. Ligon? I hope you have a lot of fun and have some wacky tales. Example, my doc died and her husband, the cook, 
got mad and fought the best fighter and died <laughs> r.i.p hey moo man made three thanks so much for the 20 i appreciate it yes i'm sure that some shit like that is bound to happen in our colony it's early days nothing like that has happened just yet um but we're uh we're working towards it i think um hang on Okay, sorry. I just had to uh, respond to something. Um, okay, it looks like we've arrested um, this person. <laughs> we lost a lot of goodwill with the Billa Treaty. They will refuse to trade with us. If we want to improve relations, we can still offer them gifts using caravans or transport pods. Okay, we might have to do that. Once, we are, once we're ready to do that, we'll, uh, we will do that. But for now, we can't do that. It's not possible for us to do that just just yet. Oh yeah, there's the um, there's the the there's the generator. There's the fuel um, generator, right? For electricity, if we need it, we don't really need it right now. Okay, let's mine this as well. Look, some mining. It's uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, steel back here. Look at this. Boomer is getting his mine on, her mine on. Okay, let's put this away. Some pemmican. There is no suitable animal pen for alpaca one. It will eventually roam away. Okay, alpaca one has been tamed. I can't believe it. Animals, alpaca one. Not in a pen. We're going to need to build a pen. How do you build a pen? Structure. We want an animal flap, a bridge, a fence. Can you only make uh, fences out of steel, marble, or silver? You can't make a, a wooden one? That doesn't seem right. Why is it why is it defaulting to steel? Oh, it's because we're out of wood. Sorry, I just realized. We're completely out of wood. I'm gonna have to chop some more down. Of course, yeah, we would we would be out of wood. Look, we're doing all of this crap here. Okay. Mine that as well. Alright, let's get Chartres on it. We gotta build a pen for this alpaca. It's good that uh, we were able to tame the alpaca, actually. We can shear it. Maybe we can tame some more as well. It's gonna be hard to feed them, though. We need some hay grass. We're going to need a supply of, uh, of hay for them to eat. They love that shit. They love eating hay. Okay. Boomer is, has a minor break risk coming up, potentially. Needs. Uh, very low expectations. Received the yeoman title. Has initial hope. Disturbed sleep. Undergrounder is outdoors. Outdoors. Ate without a table. Sweaty. Unsightly environment. No giggler. <laughs> he must have a giggler what was i thinking holy shit our colony lacks a giggler awful barracks and recreation deprived as well okay some of these things i are dis are, are debatable because there is recreation available okay maybe it's not a playstation 5 boomer um but uh, there is some horseshoeing that you could do Okay, I know it's not the it's not the latest Fortnite patch or uh, you know it's not it's not endlessly scrolling through TikTok for uh, hours and hours of your day, but horseshoeing can be fun as well. You can spice it up a bit. Remember, they all want their own room. Yes, I know. We we'll, we will eventually strive to create them all their own room, right? And they'll feel a lot better for it. Okay, we made a normal wooden table, a normal dining chair, and a good wooden dining chair. Okay, Bella Rose is now smoking a joint. <laughs> nice. Very good. These, the, the, the only two spliffs that we have are being currently consumed. One of them was given to the dog, if you remember as well. Man, that's crazy. 
That's crazy. Okay, we want a uh, wooden, a wooden fence. Okay, where was that thing? There was a, there was like a, is it misc? Pen marker. A post with a sign designating an animal pen. It must be placed in an area enclosed by fences, barricades, walls, and doors. You can assign each pen marker a set of animals to accept, and handlers with will bring animals to an appropriate pen. Okay. So it just, it doesn't need to be uh, any specific size. It just needs not enough wood stored. And then we want a wooden fence gate. Okay, and then we want the miscellaneous, we want the wooden pen marker. Okay, we're gonna have to chop down some more trees. We don't have enough wood stored to do all these gerbs. Let's get him out here and start clearing some of this stuff up. It'd be good. Can you force your prisoner to smoke weed? No, no I can't now. We were, we're out of uh, dubs. We ran out of dubs. <coughs> we just smoked them all up, sadly. They're all gone now. Um, okay, I need to make a furniture. Let's get some small shelves in here so that we can get some uh, prepared meals and shit in here too, right? Then we can get rid of the meals in there. Then they'll they'll definitely eat in the dining room. You know you can click and drag. Um, can you? How? What? Click on a tree and then drag? No. Can, we can extract a full tree. Extract this tree while keeping it alive so it can be re replanted elsewhere. Oh, that's cool. That's new, right? Oh, you gotta go orders and tools to do it. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind doing it this way. It doesn't bug me. Architect. Tools? Production? Power? I don't even know where that is. <clears throat> orders, it's orders. Chop wood. You can just do it like this, look. Bang. Alright, good. Has, um... How, um... How close are we to, um, to getting this person uh, on board, do you think? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit phlegmy for some reason. I know. So unlike me. Double clicking on trees is the way? I don't know if that works. No, it doesn't work anymore. It used to, I think. Okay, alpaca one. What do we want to call this alpaca? Can we even change the name of this al alpaca? Social training? Needs health. I don't know if you can. Can you change their names? Pen is too small. Please say this really fast for a comedic effect. It's not too small, is it? Oh, it's under the training tab. Oh, it's this one here, right? Um, what do we want to call this one? Brian. Brian, it is. <coughs> our own... Our own alpaca. We have so many jobs queued up now. Too many jobs, in fact. I'm worried that maybe this meat will spoil as well. We don't want any spoiled meat. We might need to dig out, like, a little uh, freezer for our meat. You're doing great, Dad! I'll get right on it. 
so that we can get the infestations rolling. It's, it's we're doing a we're doing a full infestation run this time. We've decided that that's how we want it, how we want to do it. When can you rename koala to me? Also, how fitting for an Aussie to take place of a koala? That's true, Lorelana. I don't know when, actually. Um, Bio maybe needs. I guess once she becomes part of the uh, the thing, I can rename her. But I don't seem to be able to rename her right now. She has a wooden hand. <laughs> Our left hand is wooden. Oh, that's good. That is good. That's nice. Very nice. Oh, look, the fences are going up. Oh, the, the pen takes like no time at all to make. That's really good. All right, so in here, storage, uh, clear all. We want uh, foods, meals. Just like take any meal, it's fine. No rotten meals, just fresh meals. Okay, let's put this here, reinstall this, and also storage here. We want to do a clear all, and we want to get raw resources, steel. Perfect. <clears throat> oh no! Animal area? Fuck this stupid animal. How do you do this again? Zone. Expand allowed area for animal area. Clear allowed area. Okay. Well, we lost one meal. We're down one meal, unfortunately, because of uh, an error. An error was made. One little error was made. What can you do, eh? We're low on food. But we're we're cooking up the meals again now, look. He's gonna eat the crops? Shit. Good 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 point, good point. We don't want that. Clear allowed areas for animals. Do not and do not. You're not allowed in there. And we don't want you... You know what? You can eat the grass. That's fine. If you want to eat the grass, be my guest. See if I care. Oh, Chartres. Look at this. This guy has just gone beast mode out here. He's fully embraced his inner beast to chop down all these trees. That's great. Okay, Boomer's... Uh... We're missing a Giggler. Giggler rolled unfulfilled. These roles are not filled, Giggler. You can assign someone a role on their social tab. You can also select a ritual spot for an altar and begin and click begin role change. If these roles remain empty, the following people will be unhappy. Okay, who's gonna be our um, our Giggler? We need a ritual spot. Brian is starting to wander away. Um, allow animals, clear all, alpaca, how do we get, um, where's Brian, Brian? Um, Cannot 10 Brian. Melee attack Brian. Prioritize roping Brian before he walks away. Okay, now we got the pen. Chartres is going to come out here and rope Brian. This is the way. Nice. Okay, good. Brian will not wander away now. Perfect. That's exactly what we were hoping for. We want to get Brian into his pen. I don't know what we're going to feed him. Maybe some kibble or something. 
Nice. Okay, the pen is big enough. Okay, we're going to tame this one as well. This is a female alpaca. And Brian is uh, a male alpaca with 13% wool growth. He's wandering right now. If I plant some hay grass in this pen, will they just eat it? What? Oh no. It's been shot. I don't know how it's happened, but we've shot the, the alpaca that I meant to tame. I guess we're just going to have to finish the job now. Bellarose, be careful. There's a wolverine out here. Okay, good. Finish him. Boom. Nice. Okay, good. Very good. We've got, we killed an alpaca. That's going to be a fair amount of meat. Let's kill this rat as well. And then we'll get a bit of wool as well. Maybe we can try to make a parka or two. You've got to make a parka or two. We need three. Well, we'll need four soon. We'll need four if we're going to get koala on board here as well, right? That pen is about big enough for a chicken at most. You need uh, to recruit and work on the prisoner and then convert them as well. Okay. I don't want to strip koala. Um, social? Where does this prisoner? No interaction. We want to recruit. I forgot to do this. Yeah. Okay. What's a hemogen farm? An operation to extract hemogen packs will be automatically queued on this prisoner whenever it can be done without killing them. The operation will be carried out by a doctor. <laughs> Wardens will attempt to convert the the prisoner to their religion. Wait, if we recruit them and they're not of the right religion, will they just slowly convert through time? Convert. Okay, resistance 24. We can uh, we can make 670 bucks off Koala as a slave. All right, let's get to work on that. Let's get to work on that. That'll be good. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. We need parkas. Make pants. Make a jacket. Make a parka. We need three parkas to be made. We'll make them with anything. Anything we can get our hands on, right? Convert them. Then reduce them and then recruit them. That is that the uh, is that the sequence that you must follow. Eighty nine percent grown. We're gonna have so many potatoes soon. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to store these potatoes somewhere. Um, we want to store them indoors, right? In a in a in a cold in a cold place. All right, I'm gonna store all my potatoes in here. Build some recreation, I have. I got a horseshoe here. I don't know what the problem is. We need a meditation spot as well. So this is ideology, so a ritual spot. Let's do the ritual like just up here for now. And then, um, what's the other one we need? A meditation spot? What does that come under, misc? The med we need to focus an object when uh, meditating, right? Maybe this tree. We can just pretend that this is a, our sacred tree. Okay, and then Chartres is going to become our giggler. Role change. A ceremony for changing social roles. The person changing roles will give a speech while others gather around. The required member of spectators must attend. Uh, okay. Koala will not participate. It's going to take place at the ritual spot. 100% success chance. It's going to take two hours. Uh, 
Dear colonists, I promise that I will make you giggle so much. <laughs> you will be giggling uh, from uh, the moment you wake up in the morning until you go to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning after um, you've smoked uh, all of the weed that you can in one day. Anyway, <laughs> it's a success. All right, good. Roll change total quality was 100% determined by these factors. Two out of uh, one required spectator counts. What a ritual that was. Okay, we now have a giggler. It's time to work on koala. It's not, actually. There's, there's other things to do. Do not shoot Brian by accident. Unbelievable. All this to kill a rat. We just don't want this wolverine eating all the rats. I mean, uh, not not when we could be eating them, right? Good shot. Holy crap. Um taming a mega sloth would be pretty good. Oh, what was the uh what was the Okay. I'm going to grow. Oh shit, there's not enough space to grow stuff in here. I'm going to have to grow uh zone growing zone. All right, we want hay grass here, right? Hay grass? A mixture of nutrient-rich grasses which yield large amounts of hay. Hay is edible for animals, but not humans. Okay. So, hay grass? Hay grass. And then we want a structure wooden fence. Okay, good job, Chartres. Let's cut this. Chop down this tree. The pen is bigger. Yes, I'm making the pen much bigger now. I've decided it has to be bigger. Good job, Boomer. Okay, Boomer, um, you're going to have to prioritize butchering, I think. We need, to, we need to butcher up some of these animals. There's a cougar in our animal pen. <laughs> what do you oh no brian's got the flu how has this happened i hope this cougar doesn't go crazy look there's a perfectly good guinea pig there cougar leave brian alone you leave brian alone okay a wooden fence gate can go here fine oh Brian <laughs> <laughs> um, we can deconstruct all this stuff now okay Chartres please can you rope up Brian thanks Okay, perfect. Now we can deconstruct all this stuff. I don't know if they're able to eat this straight up. I, th I feel like they can. But I think if we harvest it into bales of hay, they'll just eat that too, right? How's his wool growth? 18% still? Not the best. Not the best at all. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. Storage. Clear all. Uh, food. Raw food. Uh, vegetarian. So in here we want um, potatoes. For now. And we want to copy these settings. And then we want to paste. And paste. Nice. Get that meat off of there. We need to have a little tidy up. The whole colony is a is a is a disgraceful mess. What do we have to do with this? Make sure that they get proper treatment and rest as much as possible. Okay, so we can have a architect um, furniture animal sleeping spot for Brian.
Brian's going to sleep outside. He slept outside. Brian's going to die. Brian, what are you talking about? Brian's going Brian's not going to die. We're going to go tend Brian right now with some medicine. Look. Don't worry, Brian. He's got minor flu on his whole body. There, look. We gave, we gave him a 0% quality tend. You can't complain with that. Steel? Why are we not uh, moving this steel? It's all it's just sitting here. There's plenty of space for it. They just haven't gotten around to it. Zone. Expand our home area. It's already where it needs to be. The home area is looking good. We put a band-aid on the flu. Well, come on. We can release him to the wild. An infectious disease caused by the influenza virus. This strain is adapted for infecting non-human species. He's developing immunity. He's developed immunity past the the virus now. Look, he's on the road to recovery. We, we just need to tend him a little bit better next time, and then he's going to really recover big, big time, right? Barely. Okay, come on. It's still it's still better than, than him for sure dying, right? 13%? Okay, let's see. The immunity will hit before the flu ticks over. Oh, look. We're well ahead now. We're 0.2% ahead. Our trajectory is looking really good. We got a great trajectory here. Point, can we get it to 0.3? Yeah, 0.3%. See, look at that. No problem. He's going to be immune before the, the flu can take him. Yeah. The little immunity that could exactly. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, good. Look, he's actually started doing some harvesting of the potatoes. Pick up all this steel. Make sure that it doesn't go bad. Pick up all this wood. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, Chartres. Come on now. Very good. Boomer's got to live underground, I think. Boomer will be unhappy if uh, Boomer has to go outside. So we're going to have to make a, a space for Boomer to live underground. Maybe in here where we're going to store all of our food in a cool place. Bills. Add a bill. Make any stone blocks. Sandstone blocks? What is this that we got here? Slate. I feel like we have quite a bit of slate. There is sandstone though as well. Okay, so bills make sandstone blocks. Uh, do until we have uh, like 150 is fine. Are you going to play the new Overwatch 2 Battle Pass? Thanks and regards. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. You know, at some point. At some point I'll do it. I just don't know when. I don't know how and I don't know when. Okay, look. We're making a couple of blocks. If we're making blocks, you know what that means, right? We can get some sandstone tile. Or some sandstone flagstone. Start making the place look nice. I know it's not like a, a massive priority, but still. Boomer's feeding a meal to the alpaca. What the hell? Okay, that's got to have helped the immunity big time, right? Oh, yeah, we're well ahead now. Look at this. 24%. The flu is only at 22%. No problem. Oh, look at this. It's happening. It's coming together. Look. Paving stones. 
We're trying to convert koala as well to our religion. How's that going? The certainty for, has gone from 91% to 88%. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be slow going, but we'll get there eventually. If this mega sloth eats all these potatoes, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be happy about it though. That's for damn sure. All right, good job, Boomer. Boomer's making some nice meals for everybody. I think what we want to do is we want to have, like, uh, not structure, furniture. Let's get a small wooden shelf here, and then we can put meals on that, and then he should just put them straight there rather than going in here to do it, right? And then we can just put these on a higher priority after. That might work. Just to make it so that he doesn't have to, like, go back and forth all the time, you know? A group of uh, Yatakin from Sitfash have arrived nearby. Holy shit, look at this guy. Looks like some sort of wolf man. Okay. Everybody, pr battle stations. Chartres, just hide, okay? You're no good at anything. You're just going to have to hide in here and wait for things to pass off. Can we also... Um, no, we can't slaughter... We need to train uh, Cleo to be like an attack dog as well, right? And then we need to also tame a mega sloth so that it can attack all of our, all of our people as well. Uh-oh. You got it, Cleo. Cleo's running interference. Uh-oh. Cleo's down. Direct hit, though. How's this guy's health? Left shoulder, left leg, and torso. He's been shot. Oh, yeah. There we go. He's been shot in the neck. All right. We're going to have to move away from here. Nice. He's dead. We did it. All right, we're going to need to make a um, grave for this guy. We're also going to need to make a dumping stockpile zone. Clear all. We want to allow rotten and fresh human corpses and mechanoid corpses. No, human corpses. But we don't want colonist corpses here. Stranger and slave corpses is fine though. Okay, perfect. We got to get him out of here. Okay, Boomer is going to tend to Cleo, who uh, has a shattered spine. Front right leg has been destroyed. <laughs> and tail has also been destroyed. I don't think Cleo is ever going to walk again. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Zero moving. Cleo, we can't train you to be an attack dog now, sadly. Yeah. She's got a shattered spine. It's completely incapacitated. I think Cleo's gonna get eaten by this, uh, this panther at some point. Oh yeah, in here, storage, clear all. 
we want meals. Fresh meals. Priority preferred. Oh, that's better. Look, that's so much better, isn't it? Let's haul these potatoes in. Everybody else is awake tonight doing work. Chartres is going for an early sleep. We gotta get we gotta rescue all these potatoes. They're gonna go bad otherwise. to queue up some hauling jobs here. There's a fire. It's all right. It's raining like crazy. We don't want this stuff to go bad, right? That's better. Sometimes you just got to step in, right? Help out. It's a lot of potatoes. It's going to make a lot of uh, nice uh, nice meals. We still don't have our uh, fridge sorted out yet, but we're getting there. If Cleo were a tortoise, I'd have been more careful. Okay. Let's not get into that, okay? Come on. Cleo's uh, got a... Uh, a shattered spine and their front right leg is gone as well and is missing a tail. Visually the tail is still represented but the tail is gone. Maybe we can uh, outfit her with some like uh, some some cybernetic component. Oh, shit, what happened here? We lost some fence. I think maybe some fence got struck by lightning, I'm not sure. Yeah, we gotta fix that before Brian wakes up. God damn. Okay, wool growth 33% on Brian. It's pretty nice. We gotta tame some more alpacas if possible. I think there was a, a bunch of them out here. There's a female here. Let's tame this one. the rain stop nice I like the um, I like the music in this game it's nice isn't it um, furniture wooden shelf Alright, storage, clear all. In here we want manufactured um, textiles, medicines, drugs, it's not manufactured. Raw resources, stone blocks. Okay, we just want to store stone blocks there. The music is oddly Stardew esque. Uh, I mean, I guess so, a little bit. Okay, certainty has dropped to 82% for a koala. Bellarose just slowly working on her every day. We got a couple of plates spinning here. Things are happening. And Koala is being fed as well, which is nice. I think Bellarose is just having a little break. Can I please consider adding the Milkable Humans mod? Oh my god. 
Um, health, operations, add a bill. Sterilize. Anesthetize, euthanize by cut. Still has the flu. All right. She's well ahead on the immunity now. And that's because we had a good treatment. No, the 10 quality is still 0%. I what do you what can we give for the flu? Some antibiotics or something? How do you even get them? 51% grown, 90% grown. This is all of our smoke leaf. We're going to have to store this stuff as well, right? And make some dupes. I don't know where we're going to store this stuff. How's the research going? It's not. It's really bad. That's why we're trying to recruit Koala so that she can do some researching. She's got, she's got um, nine intellectual skills, which is pretty nice. No, we don't mix the weed into the food. Not yet, anyway. It's a kind of like a colony goal of ours, but for now, no. Oh, good job, Chartres. Look at this. It's feeding the Brian raw potatoes. What a play. What a play by a player. I'm glad Chartres is on it, honestly. Chartres is doing a good job. Okay, let's haul this out of here. Okay, let's see. So, on prisoner, resistance is 24. Will is at 1.3. Prison break interval, 60 days. Okay. Priscilla Bella Rose is an acquaintance of Koala, who's, I don't know, getting pretty ex upset, I guess. Koala is especially upset with her artificial enhancement, which is a, a wooden hand. <laughs> I suppose I would be too, actually. You just had, like, this big fucking wooden hand. Boomer has been replacing the oregano herb pot with weed for days now? I think so, yeah. We got an exotic goods trader. Whoa, look at this. There's a whole bunch of steel down here, too, that I missed. Okay, exotic goods might be uh, might be a way for us to, to get some stuff that we need, right? How's Brian doing? God, the flu takes forever to... Uh, it's been days. Brian's had the flu for... Cleo's not dead. Cleo's not dead. Cleo just is unable to move. With a shattered spine, we'll do it. Don't worry, Cleo. I'm sure that this exotic vendor... Some, something's got to give, right? Where's the actual... Uh, is it potato? Is it fray? No. Who actually sells this stuff? Joy? I don't want to try to arrest anyone. I just want to go and speak to the... the caravan leader. Where is it? Imagine an Arcotech hand, though. What, instead of the wooden one? How do we greet these people? Usually they have, like, a little question mark over top of them. I don't seem to be able to... be able to right-click on any of them. Oh, he's still coming. Oh, I see. It's this guy here. It's just really slow. 
All right, Bella Rose. Meet him out in the field for a par. Wow. Okay, if we could buy. Um, they'll buy Brian for 175 bucks. They'll sell us a female alpaca for 431 bucks. Um, they'll buy our components for 22 bucks. They got a telescope, a tube television. They will not buy koala from us. A power claw. Some plasteel. Some glitter world medicine. Advanced components. Components. Some gold. Some gene packs and tech prints. There's a female Yorkshire Terrier here. Seven years old. This animal is sick. It is suffering from the following illnesses. Flu major. That's Brian, by the way. Do you think we buy a female alpaca and then uh, they, the, the female alpaca and, and Brian can frick? I don't think so. I think we can just tame one ourselves, right? This is all a bit too rich for me. All right, Boomer. You make some meals. You get back to meal making. Bella Rose can get back to making some stone blocks. We got our potato storage area in here as well. It's not the best. Uh, it's it's not the best laid out colony, but it's 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 serving us for now, right? It's doing the job. It's 31 degrees outside. 31 degrees. Insane. Let's do a, a bit more hunting. Let's kill some wabbits. There's a squirrel up here, too. Boomer's meditating. Oh, yeah, boomers are um, yeomen. Cooking level five for boomer. Look at that. Look at how quickly the uh, the meals are coming, coming out now. This is great. These guys are using my dining hall. One of them has a submachine gun. You're not allowed. Careful, boomer. Oh, the dead raccoon here. It was forbidden, though. It was a forbidden dead raccoon. Okay, I'm expecting to see some nice, um, hang on a second, expand zone, shrink the zone. That's yeah, fine. I'm expecting to see some dead furry critters here soon. I love that Chartres does all the hauling in uh, in Chartres' downtime. It's really nice. Smokeleaf is ready to harvest pretty soon, by the way. We're going to need some uh, shelves for them, right? Furniture. Wooden shelves. Somebody got heat... Boomer got heat stroke? What the hell? How on earth has this happened? It's 40 degrees outside, that's why. We have no air conditioning. How did it get 40 degrees outside? The heat stroke was from working at a hot stove? Okay. Chartres is having a mental break. The final straw was... Chartres wanted some giggler apparel. <laughs> so she's gonna hide inside. Alright. Fine. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully it's just, like, ugly crying or something. And not, uh, destructive break behavior, you know? You gotta hate that destructive break behavior. The muffalo, the, the muffalo entered the building for a second there. It's 
a bit an ambrosia sprout. Okay. Alright, the trade caravan is finally leaving. What do we need to do next? There's a couple of things that we need to do. I think one of the things that we need to, to do potentially is look into getting some... Um, how do you make... How do you make Giggler gear? <laughs> what does that look like? Some passive coolers? Yeah, we need some passive coolers. Probably in here, right? Where the meals are and stuff. Temperature? Passive coolers. A traditional unpowered cooler that works by water evaporation must be regularly replenished with wood. Not efficient enough to refrigerate food. Keep it kind of cool. Not fully refrigerate, but a little bit cool. You gotta check my ideology to see what they want. Uh, where do I check that ideology? Grand altar, a lectern, a kneel pillow. Where does that come under? Quests? No? World? No? Factions? History? Oh, here we go. Idiodopistry. Um, roles, rituals, buildings, relics, flop hat, appearance. It doesn't say anything about uh, the giggler role. Abilities, has role in rituals, requirements must be a doper, required apparel, a burka, and a. F we need to make a burka. Make a burka. We just need one burka to be made. Maybe we have enough to make a burka? If we make a burka for Chartres, then uh, Chartres will be a happy giggler. currently having a huge mental break. Quest active. Young vagabond request aid. A poor child named Mole is approaching looking for help. Mole is begging for three medicines. Mole wants the medicine to save her loyal pet who is injured on the road. You can give items to Mole by selecting a colonist and right clicking on her. Mole will move on after one day. This child is not part of any faction. If you wish you can choose to kill, arrest, sell or harvest her without diplomatic consequences. All right, let's see what Mole is up to. Will Mole just hang around out here? Three medicine is a lot of medicine, though. Uh-oh. Chartres is, gonna, is about to have a major break. Just needs some food, I think, honestly. Probably a little bit of sleep would help, too. Okay, here's Mole. Mole is a little child, it looks like. A little child who's not good at anything. Uh, incapable of nothing. Has no traits. Six years old. It's a child beggar. Do we want to? Do we want to kidnap this child? Make it a colonist. Well, I I can, but. Uh, let's just give them the medicine and see what happens. Here you go. We'll give the we'll give the kid the medicine and just let them leave. I don't want to recruit a kid. I want to recruit koala. Oh, a new quest has become active. It is called Pugag's Breakout. A prisoner being held by Mopoil Gull has managed to steal a radio and call you. Pugag is being held at a camp near Dopamania under armed guard. Rescue him, and he will join your colony. He's a 57-year-old builder. He says that there's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by one pig, and there may be an unknown threat. 
If you miss this opportunity, you may never hear from Pugag again. <laughs> oh, man, it's kind of far away. Like, we'd have to get people... Uh, we're not ready for any of this crap yet, right? All right, Pugag. It was good knowing you. <laughs> Our colony is going to be uh, uh, very much without Pugag. We're going to be very, very Pugagless. No, I'm not. I'm not saving Pugag. Okay, Pugag cannot be saved. Today just isn't Pugag's day. That's all there is to it. Oh my God, Brian recovered. Brian developed immunity. Good job, Brian. Oh, man. Now we just got to tame this other one, right? If it's not dead. Might have been killed by a cougar. Oh, no, look. There's a whole bunch of them out here. Look, there's a full horse here. Maybe you got to tame this horse. Maybe it's time to tame this horse. Spoke leaf is almost ready, by the way. Okay, Bella Rose, you got some jobs to do here. I guess uh, also hunting to do. God, there's more. Look at all these ponies. It's like a million ponies down here. Oh, nice shot. Very nice shot. Incredible shot. Oh, look. Boomer's so good to Cleo. Good job. Cleo just sleeping. You got... Uh, yeah, I do, yeah. See you later. Nice. Nice. Are they full ponies? Why am I taming animals only to immediately maim them? I'm not. I'm try I need to get some wool. Look, 56% growth on this one. I'm not maiming animals. I mean, some of them were hunting, like, for food and stuff. How, what's a good way to transport this stuff here? Like, if I say that this storage has a important priority, will they move this stuff over? Oh, shit. We're harvesting our smoke leaf. Man, we're going to have so many joints off the back of this. It's time to get rolling, yeah. Production. Uh, art bench. Simple research bench. Uh, a crafting spot. It's got a bad temperature in there. I think it's like 36 degrees, but what can you do? It's just hot out. It's the summer, I mean. Need to get some of these shelves built. Where the heck is Bella Rose? Oh, here she comes. Ah, she's been hunting, that's why. Okay, now that the hunting is done, maybe she can get to work on some of these these jobs. Looks like she is. No, she's going to bed. Maybe tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> I never played uh, the new Dwarf Fortress. I, I keep meaning to uh, get around to it. I, I actually just completely forgot about it. Alright. Bills. Add a bill. Smash a mechanoid. No. Make a, make a smoke leaf joint. Do it forever. As long as we can make them, let's make them. Okay, let's get these bad boys. Where are people more likely going to consume weed? Probably in here, right? We'll we'll make our big our big weed shelf in here, because I think they're gonna go in the dining room, to uh to to do the weed. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the order of the day, without delay. Okay, so now that I've set this priority to be important, 
Boomer puts them over there. So is there a way to just uh, copy settings, link settings? How do we get people to move this stuff over to here? Is there a way? Go into food creation bill and set it to drop on floor. Oh, okay. That's a bit easier, actually. So if I go details, uh, do until we have, take to the best stockpile, drop it on the floor. Okay. And then we can dismantle this one. Okay. Perfect. Last human meat. Wait. Because of her belief in free sex, Koala will become unhappy if she goes more than eight days without eating human meat. Man, come on. We gotta we, we gotta fast track Koala into believing in, in the weed instead. We have to get her out of that out of that one. She's she wants to consume the flesh. We can't let her. She's going to go on a cannibalistic... Uh, she's going to go crazy. we got to be really careful, right? Oh. Koala's got food poisoning now. Uh-oh. Is that bad? I don't think she needs to be tended to just yet, but Boomer can do it anyway, right? It's fine. All right, so this storage, clear all. We want to plant matter. We want smoke leaf leaves. All right, good. It's got to move all this stuff in here. Oh my god, Bella Rose is actually rolling joints. It's happening. Storage. Clear all. Manufactured. Drugs. Smoke leaf joints only. This is great. We got a nice little setup here. It's not super efficient, but you know what? For now, it'll do. Just got to make sure that we get all of this stuff in here so that it's uh, it doesn't spoil outside. It looks like Boomer is doing it. Oh, I think Bella Rose is actually making the... Um, look at Chartres is having a, having a huge one in there. Look at that. It's a cannon. Jeez. Chartres is unable to function for the rest of the day. What's going on with the prisoner? Um, we're still working on it. Certainty is, is going down, I guess, which means that they might convert soon. Convert them to our religion and then start working on actually recruiting them. Oh, this is an unfinished parka. Belaro is actually working on a parka. Very nice. I hope it's a good quality parka. Boomer is about to have a break. Maybe we'll feel a little bit better after the meditation. Disturbed sleep is becoming an issue as well. We're going to have to give people their own rooms soon. Then we can use this more as a storage room instead. Uh, let's start doing that now, actually. Structure, wooden walls. How big do we want rooms to be? One, two, three. What's a good size for a room? Five by five? For now? Three by five, four by four, seven by seven. 
One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna go five by five. I think that's a bit better for me. Let's get some wooden doors here. Uh, we're gonna need to get some uh, wooden floors as well. Alright, good. It's a big job. It's gonna be uh, good to get this done uh, before the winter, right? This is the, the last of our... Um, this is our big summer job, right? Oh! We got a new one! Alpaca one. Training. Um, it's Cindy. Cindy and Brian. Sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Nice. Okay, S Cindy, you can sleep here. Nice. We got the we have an animal pen, Erica. Look, this is it. We need to we need to um we need to feed them though. That's one thing that we definitely need to do. Alright, good job everybody. Look at this is great. This is really something else. Do 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 bo 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 do 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 I think we're feeding them uh, actual meals right now, which is not the best. Oh, look at these potato plants. We might get another uh, harvest of potatoes before the end of the summer at this rate. It's looking promising. They grow, they grow fast in the summer. It's only the 9th of Juggist. We got so much wood stored, it's great. We could do with having some more uh, dubs created and stored as well, but Belarus has to prioritize construction, right? We have to attend to these people's needs. Them getting woken up all the damn time is really starting to, uh, to affect them, you know? It's no good. 69% wool growth. Can you milk them as well? This it this is like a Stardew music here. This is big time Stardew music. This is a one year old alpaca. Taking him. How's your converting going? It's getting there. It's happening. It's taking a little while, but it's happening. Okay, we gotta clean up in here though. This is disgusting. There's vomit and trash and all sorts of crap on the ground. There's like a bunch of blood in here as well. Disgusting. We don't have anybody really doing any cleaning. There's so many jobs for other people to be doing that nobody really does any cleaning. Come on, Bella Rose. Let's go. That's good. Oh yeah, look at this. Chartres helping with the wood delivery so that Bella Rose can just get back to laying floors and putting up structures, the thing that she's really good at. Look how fast she goes. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, nice. That's nice. Chartres has gone back to bed? Maybe not. Hey, look. We're almost, we've almost got a room uh, ready to go here. It's close. We need to start feeding animals just uh, maybe some kibble, some hay. We gotta stop feeding them full meals, right? 
furniture, um, wooden shelf. This is gonna have hay on it, right? We're gonna we're gonna harvest hay and put it on that shelf, and then the alpacas can just eat right off of it. I think that works. Okay, Chartres needs to come and cut down these trees for Bella Rose because Bella Rose takes way too long to do them, right? When we can get the uh, the man, the mystery, the legend in to do it instead. Look at this roofing. Oh. Now that's what I call roofing. Alright, we're nearly done here. So we can reinstall this. Let's reinstall this one. You've detected a hunting worksite nearby controlled by the Billet Treaty. A detected a hunting worksite controlled by the the Billa what? What's a hunting worksite? Oh, it's all, it's on the map. Okay, sure. Boomer's room? Bella Rose just ha having a little break. That's fine. Uh, so we're going to also want to have some uh, torch lamps and stuff in all the rooms, right? We'll make the rooms look more or less the same. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, hang on. Okay, we've got we've we've got all these uh, break risks and stuff, but we're getting there. Once they're in their new uh, houses, a lot of this stuff will go away, right? We need to get these guys some plant pots as well. Wooden plant pots. What else is good uh, to have in here? Hey, sips. A dresser. Any chance we can get an indoor bed for your paralyzed dog. Gives us small... Yeah, yes, we can, yeah. Hey, Rice Price, thanks for the 10. We'll find a place... <laughs> we'll find a good place for Cleo that's not outside. Uh, a dresser gives a small comfort bonus to all... <laughs> thanks so much for the 10, Rice Price. Dresser and a bedside table, you think? End table? A small bedside table which makes nearby beds a little bit more comfortable. Must be placed directly adjacent to the head of the bed. Placing more than one end table near the same bed has no effect. Okay. So just like this. And then we need some dressers. Oh, and it has to be close to the bed as well. Okay, good. Um, good for now? That'll give us a little bit of a... A little bit of a boost. Already assigned. We gotta build a copy. Okay, good. Cleo's inside now. Happy? I did it, Rice Price. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Holy crap, how many days was, was Cleo outside for? Maybe too many. We got a normal dresser, a normal dresser, a normal end table. Okay, Bella Rose is able to consistently create normal furniture, which I think is pretty good.
Nice. Just gotta do some... There we go. Sharch is on it. Nice. We made like a little hotel for our for our people. Okay, Bella Rose needs wise now. Look at that. Mood is improving. Greedy for an impressive bedroom. Awful barracks? I had to sleep in an awful barracks. Not only was it a horrible room, but I also had to share it. Sleeping alone. I should be sleeping with a lover or spouse. Okay, Bella Rose. Beggars can't be choosers. I was disturbed during sleep by people moving around nearby. A private room would solve this. Nice. That's good. That's that's really that's you know that's you know you know what? That's good. Did somebody was a parka created? I don't see a parka. What happened to the parka that was being worked on? Is somebody wearing it? T-shirt and pants. Light leather parka poor. Holy crap. Boomer's actually wearing a parka. It's 21 degrees. I guess Boomer is cold? Why are they wearing the parka in, uh, in the summer? That doesn't make any damn sense to me. It's good that we made a parka, though. Really nice. We're going to need some more, um, some more stuff, right? Some more turkey leather? Some more raccoon fur? Let's just hunt all these little critters for now. Wool growth, 81%. Oh! Holy crap! We got another one! Okay, this is a, a one-year-old male alpaca named Reggie. Reggie Reggie needs a, an animal sleeping spot as well. Okay, there you go, Reggie. I think we're almost ready to harvest some of this hay grass as well for the alpacas. It should be good. Brian's wood growth is 81%. Bella Rose wants to have a lover. Really needs to have a lover big time. How are we doing with koala here? 59%. Okay, we're getting there. It's a, it's a slow process, but eventually the conversion will occur. We've also got to feed her. We've got a couple of meals, but nothing huge. Quest active, ship to the stars. A friendly AI from your past named Charlon Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. The starship is in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence completes. It'll be a long, difficult series of battles. If you can get the ship off the ground, Charlon Whitestone will take you off this rim world to the stars. Wow, okay good. We're at that point in the game now where we can start thinking about leaving this shithole. Chartres actually doing some cleaning. Oh my god. Chartres has so little to do that Chartres is cleaning. I'm not complaining. It needs a, a, a really good tidy up. There's blood and shit all over the place. Okay, go do the uh, production room now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here we go. That's better. Try to uh, try to get some of the uh, food poisoning. Um, look at this. He's cleaning up stones out here and stuff too. Insane. That's so good. That's so good. All right. Good job, Boomer. Make a separate kitchen? I will. Eventually, I will, okay? We're getting... We, look. It's slow progress. It's, we're doing baby steps, okay? We're, 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 we're starting to get there now. Okay. This, though, no. Clear all, no. No. Uh, this needs to be not food. Yes, food. Just hay on here, please. Don't store meat where the alpacas are. They don't like that. They don't, they won't eat that. They want to eat grass. They don't want all this stuff. 
Can you name a vomit stain after me? Thank you. Yes, I will. As soon as uh, one appears. Some love took place there. Did you see that? Needs. Food and sleep. Food? Food. Okay. Maybe it was forbidden love with Reggie. I hope it wasn't. It's not the kind of colony that we're trying to create here. We're trying to make... We're trying to create a wholesome colony. For people to um, just enjoy their lives with what's, what little is left of them, you know? It is not CK3. <laughs> exactly. Harvest the ambrosia sprouts? Aren't, no, I don't want people to get addicted to the drugs. There's only one drug that these people are allowed to get addicted to. What's the, what's the temperature in here? Overhead mountain. The temperature inside a mountain is a little bit cooler, right? Am I feeding the alpacas rats? No, I'm not. No, we're going to feed them hay. We've, we're growing so much hay for them. We're going to keep them real, real well fed. Wool growth is looking really nice here. 87% wool growth on this one. Should be able to make some more parkas soon. Ambrosia is mucho monies. All right. You think I should harvest it? Nice. Okay, so boomers' needs are looking pretty good too. Recreation fully satisfied. Spacious interior, slightly impressive rec room. Awful bedroom though. Sweaty. How do had to sleep in an awful bedroom for eight hours? How do I see um, zone? How do I look at to see like um, how how nice a room is or whatever? G. Oh, G. Thirty-seven. It's mediocre. Impoverished wealth. Rather tight. Neutral beauty, but it's clean. What else can I put into these rooms to um, to to up the ante a little bit? Is there anything uh, else that I can put in here? <sighs> Not drapes. A wooden shelf, a table, a brazier, an animal bed, a better bed, a school desk, a wooden table, flower, a table and chair, and a nice plant. I put flower pots in here already. A wooden table 3x3, three three, a table 1x2. Do you think they need to have their own uh, their own table as well? And chair? With a, with a wooden dining chair? They might want to eat in their room sometimes. I can do that. No tables. And change the floor to stone floor? Oh, I suppose, yeah, wooden floor is probably not the best, right? We can cut some, some more sandstone. I think we got a whole bunch. So if I go floors... They make good surfaces for roads and outdoor walkways. Carefully cut and fit stone tiles for a castle feeling. They're pretty to look at, but they take a long time to lay. Paved tile. Cheap but neutral in terms of looks and slow to build. Concrete. It's cheap and quick to build, but it's also quite ugly. Fine sandstone. Exquisite stone tiles made with no compromises for expressing economic status. Straw matting. You think just sandstone tile is the one to go for? Oh, we got a disable gathering spot for tables in their rooms. Otherwise, people will just use them as, like, individual party rooms. Okay. Sure. How's boomers' needs? Slept in the heat? Outdoors? Rebuffed by Chartres? Chartres is sleeping alone and wants some giggler apparel? Bella Rose? 
is greedy for an impressive bedroom, sleeping alone and slept in the heat. So Bella Rose and Chartres need each other, right? If they got together, the two of them, that would be perfect. And then they would move into one room together. They're married. What? How do you know this? Social? Wife. Oh my god, they are fucking married. That's crazy. No wonder they're so upset. <laughs> How did I not realize this? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, we need a double bed then for these guys, right? A double bed made out of um, wood. Do do boo boo. All right, I'll build that in the morning. I'll uninstall Bella Rose's bed and they can move into this top room here, right? You can make them try for a baby? Nice. Do we even have any wood? could do with chopping down some more trees um zone security floors orders chop wood let's chop all these ones back here furniture wooden double bed You're doing great, Dad. oh boy captain backseat is at it again your moral guide, the Giggler <laughs> has an ability that does a large conversion amount for your religion. Oh, nice. You can use it on your prisoner. Can I actually do that? So Boomer can do it? Oh. Koala's uh, in some sort of uh, berserk. Uh, is She will attack anyone she sees. Final straw is she's malnourished. All right. We're going to have to get Bella Rose to... Um, Maybe not, actually. She's going to break out, though. She might break out and eat all the medicine. Oh, God. Okay, Bella Rose. Koala's gone into a... Uh, into a murder rampage. We're going to have to try to... To take her down. Good shot. <laughs> I think she's going to die. Okay, let's melee her now. She's almost down, right? Okay, and then we can uh, arrest her. Oh shit, there's no, uh, there's no door on this, right? Okay, now we can capture. Okay, and let's see what happened to her. Um, her right arm has been completely destroyed. Sadly. <laughs> Free meat. Well, it happens, you know. It's uh, it, it's it's just one of those things that kind of happens uh, when you're uh, when you when you're playing in the uh, in the big leagues. It's a seven percent quality tent. Very nice. Very good. Okay, left arm was also shot, but not destroyed. Well, okay, the good news is... Oh, you know what? Actually, it's, it is bad news. Because I thought that the, the arm that we destroyed was the one that had the wooden hand that she hated. But it looks like she's left with the arm that uh, houses the wooden hand intact. Um, so... Uh, so no luck on that front, sadly. Bionic arm next, don't worry. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we have to do some... 
cleaning up in here too. It is a pigsty. All right, so these ones we have to mark as not gather spots, right? We want to prioritize working on this bed now as well. And then we want to... Um, we need a zone for furniture. No. Whoops. Delete this zone. This will have manufactured weapons, buildings, furniture. Okay, Chartres, can you please... Oh, yeah, he's doing it already. Nice. So is Boomer. Excellent. Okay, so these two can sleep together in Holy Macaroni. We can assign this to Bella Rose and Chartres. Finally. Finally, they can practice ho Holy Macaroni together. That's so good. Fuck me, Sips. What? I'd ask you to name a dude after me, but last time I did that, you called me King Moron of the World, <laughs> if you remember that, so I think I'll leave it. Glad to see this game is back. Hey, Vengeful Drop Bear, thanks so much for the 10. Sorry for calling you King Moron of the World. Um, man, I'm, I'm so proud of myself. It's actually really funny. I don't even remember that. They might need two chairs in this room. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, they might want to eat together, right? A family who eats together... Eats together? It's pretty tight. They need a bigger room. They're going to need a presidential suite, I think. Okay. Boomer is feeding koala better food, I think. Ate non-cannibal food, awful barracks, slept in the heat, want human meat, slept on the ground, cramped interior, intense pain, artificial enhancement. Okay, you know what? Call me crazy here, but... Install a wooden foot. If she doesn't like it... Let's just remove the uh, the, the left hand. Let's just remove it. She will be handless, though. <laughs> she's missing an arm. <laughs> she's missing... Because all she's got is one, one wooden hand. She's not going to be able... Okay. How about this, though? You don't need hands to do research, right? You can still research with no hands. Like, Cleo can't walk. But Cleo could use Cleo could use her tongue to turn the pages and and Koala can do the research. It's perfect. <laughs> research how to get hands. <laughs> They'll make a really good team. I know. I mean, you have to like wheel Cleo around uh, to to the uh, to the place. Okay, so these guys should be feeling a little bit Oh yeah. Okay. Only wants Giggler apparel now. Outdoors. Okay. Boomer doesn't really want to go outside ever, but it can't be helped, right? You're doing great, Dad. I've heard there's an opening for King Moron <laughs> if the world. <laughs> Pursuna, thanks so much for the thousand bits. There is actually. We've got a fresh opening for King Moron of the world because uh, our previous King Moron has decided that they no longer uh, wish to, to have the title for some reason. I, I don't get it, but, you know. At least she's not armed and dangerous. He's okay, A vengeful drop bear is abdicating from the, from the position of king moron of the world. Fair enough. <laughs> king turd of... Sorry, I got, I got a loose piece of skin on my finger that I have to bite off. Gross, eh? King Turd of Shit Mountain. I like that. 
I like that a lot. Look at this. Chartres brought a meal. That is that is something else. Okay. Did you just see what happened there? This is their first night as a husband and wife that they slept in the same bed, okay? Chartres and Bella Rose. And it's nice that Chartres woke up and let Bella Rose have a little bit of a sleep in. I get it. They don't have kids or whatever. You can still sleep in. But it's kind of a dick move to bring yourself a meal to bed. Wake up in the morning and eat it by yourself and not even offer to get your, your wife uh, a meal or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't think they'd last two seconds on Married at First Sight. Oh, shit. Reggie's got the plague. Come on, man. How do we recover from this? He's got some minor plague. Boomer, can you please get out here and tend to Reggie? You're doing great, Dad. We're going to need some medicine for Reggie. It's it's looking like potentially Reggie might not make it. I'm, I don't see how he's going to recover from the plague. They got a 22% quality 10, though. Look, we're catching up to the plague. The immunity, it's a quick, it's quick moving, though. Look, it's set 6%. You know what? It's, it is really moving ahead now. No, you know what? We're catching up to it. We might have to actually overtake it. If we get another good 10, Reggie could survive. It's going fast. Oh, shit. Shit, we lost some raccoon meat. I think it's because it's so hot. We're almost out of uh, food completely, by the way. I did not grow enough potatoes. Where are we going to get more food from? I should have grown way more food, right? It's time to eat Reggie. It might be, you know, 45 alpaca wools? That's great. God, this grass takes forever to grow as well. It probably doesn't help that we're feeding meals to a prisoner and to like a million pets as well. Okay. It's time to slay some turkeys. We're gonna have to kill some rabbits as well. We got a mad hare moving in on us now too. Um, Bella Rose. Bella Rose and Boomer, I'm going to need you both to help with this mad hare. It's currently making its way to the camp. Shit. Chartres, where are you? Oh, it's okay. Chartres is safe. Chartres is actually doing research. His own research. Can you shoot better? Oh, good job. They did it. They shot better. Um, I don't think we want to nurse it back to health, right? Okay, the mad hare is dead. We need more food anyway. There's a bit of blood on the weed. There's a tiny bit of blood on the weed, yeah. Oh, look at this. We're actually, uh, we, we've actually managed to harvest all of this medicine. It's pretty nice. That'll come in handy when we're starving throughout the winter. Boomer's got uh, a new parka, I think? A normal birdskin parka. Okay, that's a second parka created. Pretty nice. So Bella Rose has put the other one on. It's 32 degrees and these guys are wearing parkas. Oh my god, what a shot. One shot, one kill. We got our own Widowmaker on... Uh, in, the, in the camp. Wild. I think we might need to make a couple of toques as well. Growing some cotton for fabric might be useful. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Get some fabric. Could be nice. 
I feel I feel like these turkeys are pretty good meat yield. Some decent meat. Horse meat, I'm not uh, overly concerned with the, with having though. I think I'll try to um, avoid eating horse meat. Agreed. We'll leave that for the for the uh, Tesco lasagnas or whatever. What what was the what was the whole thing with the horse meat? Was it like was it Findus? Desperate times. Yeah, desperate measures. Findus. Findus lasagna with horse meat in it. How's Reggie doing? Probably dead. Minor plague. No, look, the immunity we're gonna he's gonna make it. Look at this, it's slowed down. Reggie's immunity is 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 is, is taking uh is taking over. That's great. Um, do I need to make a crib? No. I'll tell you what I do need, though. I need to put a couple of bits and pieces in here. The horse meat was bussin'? I don't know what that means. Well, instead of Instead of walking, driving. Do we want to tame a mega sloth? You can milk them, right? Hey, Sips, can you name a character after me? Yes. Two underscore. Handless dog handler. Thanks so much for the 20. <laughs> Handless dog handler. Handless dog handler. Um, I might. Well, I think Lorelana wanted to be named. Uh, wanted this one. Not in the best of health, honestly, but... Oh, hang on a second. I just got to check something. Perfect. Oh, man. It's really coming together now. It's great. No list. Uh, like, I have, like, a mental list, you know? Got, like, a like a, a mental list that I'm trying, trying to keep track of. Apologies if uh, it doesn't always work out. You know, I, apo I I apology. I do apology. Let's uh let's get this one uh too important. The Ferrari garage is getting a second coat of paint. Yeah. Um, I'm getting hungry. Also, I need to go to the bathroom. So maybe now is a good time for me to go and do some of that stuff, if you don't mind. I feel like we've made some good progress, and we continue to make some good progress. The one thing that's holding us back is it's been really hard to recruit this uh, this person who we've um, blown their arm off and uh, complains daily about having a wooden hand. Um, but I'm sure eventually we'll find somebody that can get give us a bit of a research boost. I think that's going to be a big one for us, right? Yeah? Okay, I won't be long. Um, I just need a couple of minutes to go... Um, Grab a bagel or something, and uh, I'll come back and we'll carry on. Okay. All right. See you in a sec. It's the uh, it's the uh, Harvest Moon Stardew Valley music. No. I'm back. I got tea as well, by the way. I did get some tea. Don't buy a microwave. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't do it. I won't give in. I'll never give up. I'll never, I'll never uh, give up the fight. Oh, fuck. We're running out of food and it's because we keep feeding this dog. We're, we keep feeding this... this <laughs> we gotta get rid of this dog. It's, I mean, come on. He's never gonna get better. He'll never walk again. Cleo's never gonna walk again. Okay? Cleo was ravaged by that, uh, that raider. Look, we're now getting warnings saying that we're low on food. It's all Cleo's fault. Just unbelievable. There's a tortoise out here. Okay, we're gonna have to kill this turkey. We have to make sure that we kill a, a turkey. Maybe we get some warg pens. Maybe we try to set up a pen for wargs. 
that might be good, right? Holy shit, there's a dead cougar here. It's been dead for 2.6 days. What the hell killed a cougar? I don't know. A group of sheep, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. What? Yeah, we got some sheep as well. Fuck. Okay. We're going to have to... Animals. They're going to have to coexist in here for a little bit. Sheep. Can alpacas and sheep exist together? That I don't know. Chartres? We got a ram in here, too. Oh, my God. Okay, animals. Does it just come under sheep? You're doing great, Dad. A ram isn't its own thing. It just is considered a sheep as well. A male sheep. They will just wonder why Jeffrey has such a long neck. I suppose they will, yeah. When you put it that way. Do you... Liz, that's me. Thanks for the 420. Thanks for the safe space and the friends you've given me. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Liz, that's me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're having fun. Not like the gambling thing when they say, like, uh, when it stops being fun, stop or whatever. Um, it's not like gambling. Okay? The idea is to just have fun all the time. Safe fun. Good safe fun. You know? Fuck gambling. Man, fuck gambling. You guys always you guys always try to force me to do gambling in games and stuff as well. You're enablers. I'm trying to leave my, my gambling past behind. Let me take that back. <laughs> fuck gambling! I hate it! Ah, ah. Mm. I like a bit of gambling in games actually. I don't want I don't mind a little bit of gambling. Reggie? Look it. He's got extreme plague. But his immunity is going to uh, is going to see him through. He's gonna beat the extreme plague. He does eat! They eat the grass! Oh, that's great. They graze. Okay, if they poop and fertilize where they graze as well. We've won. We've won. We're winners. It's so natural for them to eat out here too, right? Now we got all these sheep. What the heck are we going to do with them? Um, What do we want to rename this animal to? Liz, that's me. Liz, that's me. You could be an, an you. An you. Um... Erica, you can be one as well, look. Um, who wants to be this one? Slippy Fontaine. Slippy Fontaine. You can have this one. And there's one more. There's a ram coming back here. The ram's name is reserved. Okay. I'm reserving the ram. I've got ideas. I've got a great idea, actually. Here it is. Training. It's Dowie. There you go, Dowie. You're in the game now, too. Well done. Good job. You made it. Thank God you made it. Dowie, you're the world's greatest. Okay, where are these sheep going to sleep, though? I guess they'll just uh, sleep on the ground. They don't necessarily need a sleeping spot. I love that they can just graze. That's so good. Do you think they'll get bored out here? Oh, Koala's fully healed. Okay. Not meant... You know what? She does have a destroyed right arm. Maybe it's time for us to add... Maybe it's time for us to install a denture. No. 
We can remove. <laughs> we can remove her tongue if we want to. We can extract a hemogen pack. We can install a peg leg. No peg leg is required right now. You can't install a peg arm though. No. A kid a kidney is what's needed. I tell you what. You might be right about that. Where are Chartres and uh, Belarus? Where could they be? I hope Bella Rose isn't dead. She's not. Has everybody got a parka now? Chartres is missing one actually. Still missing. Still missing a a little uh, a little parka. It's fine. A wooden kidney will will do. Might. Mm. Reggie can walk again. Go eat, Reggie. It's time for you to eat. This wool is going to go bad soon. We can't have that. Find some good grass, Reggie. I believe in you. This is almost ready to be... This is actually be ready to be harvested now. Can harvest a bit of this. We can harvest this into some hay for the animals to eat. Reggie's gone back to bed. Okay, I think everybody is doing pretty good, needs wise. Yep, very good, very good, very good. We need to make some uh, some giggler apparel. We still need to make a burka with whatever we can uh, use to make a burqa. Can you name an alpaca Puji? Well, we've already got all of our alpacas named, actually. Um, eventually, sure, if, we, if, another, if another one appears, we could, yeah. I don't see why not. Nice. Look at this. Look at Boomer go doing everything oh they're harvesting up the hay there's loads of hay here will they just be able to eat it right out of this i hope so perfect then we can grow some more of this stuff too plant some more fertilize the lawn uh oh the hell what's missing okay fine we gotta prioritize roping Liz that's me as well Liz that's me and Dowie just uh, made love Okay, that's all of their, our animals back in. Liz, that's me. You might be pregnant. Health? Overview? Where does it say? Needs. Social. Oh, maybe not. Dowie. Dowie doesn't waste any time, eh? Jeez. All right, look at all this food for our animals now. We should be able to get some uh, some decent wool in. Because we now got um, sheep that are growing uh, wool. And we have alpacas, wool growth 42, 22, and 55. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I think it's sad. It's sad that this is rotting, actually. We were unable to harvest it for meat. It would have been a lot of meat. It been lots of good meat for us. Lots of really decent meat. Okay, we're just going to have to 
keep killing critters, get some meat in, and hope that these potatoes will grow. 86%. It's the 15th of Jugust. Don't milk Dowie? No, no, I'm not planning on it. Don't worry. I would never. If we can grow some extra sheep and alpacas and stuff, though, we could sell them, right? Could make a, a decent bit of money. If we can get some chickens, that could be nice, too. A couple How the of fuck chickens. did you manage to leave your shopping cart in my fucking garage? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, heckin' chonkers. Hey, thanks for the 10 as well. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Life finds a way, you know? Sometimes I don't know where to put my cart. There's no spots. I just uh, then seek out a garage and then uh, we're good to go. So we, so we have to start putting sandstone tiles into these bedrooms? It's going to take a little while to lay all that, though, isn't it? I think instead, let's go floors and get some of this crap going around here, too, right? Mm, nice. It's a big job, but somebody's got to do it. Bella Rose is worried. It's too much work, you know? And it's all down to her as well. She's got to do it all. Boomer's going to help lay the uh, lay the stone slabs down, though. That's nice. Oh, that's good. Good teamwork. Teamwork making the dream work. All right. So in this uh, storage, we want to clear all, and we want to allow raw resources, apparel. No. Corpses? Items. Body parts? No. Manufactured? Textiles? Leathers and wools? All textiles? Alright. Get this meat off of here. Oh shit, there's a manhunter pack. A pack of manhunting rats have entered the area, driven insane by the disease known as Scaria. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They won't attack doors unless you, they see someone go through the door. Hide inside and you'll be safe. They also won't attack powered off turrets, so turn your turrets off to save them. The rats will leave the area in one or two days. You can hide and wait them out or fight them. There's some deer here. How many rats are we talking here? It's three rats. But they might have diseases. All right, everybody, get inside. If they start attacking the animals, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, they haven't seen us go in. They're looking for humanoid flesh. Uh oh. Need warm clothes. Chartres is missing. We kind of need all of this food, though, too, right? I don't know. Three rats is a lot of rats, though. Like, I'm a bit scared, but you know what? I'm going for it. That was a terrible shot. Run. Oh, my God. Run. Oh, my God. Shoot better. Shoot better than... Yeah, nice. Another one? Boomer, can you shoot, like, a, just a tiny bit better than this? Uh, we don't want to rescue this rat. We want to melee attack the rat to death.
Oh, shit. Look what happened here. This has become uh, for prisoners. Oh, no. Okay, rest until healed. Okay, Boomer, you're going to have to tend uh, Bella Rose. Bella Rose is uh, just scratched up a bit. Nothing major. Just scratched up by multiple uh, rat scratches. All right, good. Chartres, we want you to clean up all of this blood. Nice. Whew. Okay, good. We killed three rats. Um, and this stuff too, please. All of the blood here. It's all got to go. Nobody wants to step in this blood. All right, perfect. All clean. Oh, hang on. I just got to check something quick. All right. Okay, Bella Rose should recover from this. Yeah, no problem. Look at this. Is it... She's all tended to. She just needs a little bit of time to recover. Chartres has got to sleep alone. It's fine. Look, we already started um, light leather. Is that what drops off a rat? It must be, right? Oh, look at all the hay we've got. It's great. Really good. Use the fancy meds for scratches? No, we don't need to. It's fine. We don't need to use the fancy meds. We can use the cheap stuff. Save the fancy meds for when uh, for when uh, the writing is on the wall, when our back is against the wall. 87% grown. I think we're going to have to harvest this stuff soon, right? Because uh, if it, especially if it gets cold, we're going to have to emergency harvest it. <clears throat> Make some rat leather curtains. Mm, now you're talking. Now you're talking. We might have to butcher Cleo uh, this winter and eat her. She's never going to walk again. At some point, we're just going to have to uh, accept the fact that Cleo is never going to walk again. And we can't keep feeding her human meals. But we wouldn't mind eating a little bit of uh, nice, succulent, greasy dog meat. Put Cleo to sleep. It's no life for a dog. No, I know. Dogs want to be out there, right? They want to be out there enjoying their life. I'm, I'm taking the tough decision. I'm going to... I'm taking the tough decision. We're going to euthanize by cut. We just need one medicine to do it. You can't release her to the, to the wild. No. A dog should be running around. You're right. All right. We're going to take out Cleo. It's not the best, but... Can we bury Cleo in a, in a grave or not? <clears throat> ashes to ashes. I'm yes. back. I've heard you're planning on eating the dog. <laughs> Give the dog the prisoner's spine instead. <laughs> I don't know if that works like that. <clears throat> I'll uh, give the uh, the dog the prisoner's wooden hand to replace the, uh, the 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 right paw that was destroyed. Okay, Cleo's having her last meal, and now Boomer is killing Cleo. Okay, Cleo was bonded to Bella Rose. It will affect Bella Rose's mood. I don't know if you can uh, can you can you bury a dog. Can you head? Yeah, it did have to be done. You're right. Eat her. You can bury it. Eat the dog. So we have to disallow moving the dog. Go misc. Make a grave. Look, we'll bury Cleo in a nice spot here, right? <coughs> so that Bella Rose has some time to... You know... 
Not assigned to constructing. Okay, Bella Rose, you gotta come out of bed to dig a grave. Sorry. It's gotta be done. Bella Rose seems to be covered in something. I don't know. Um, consume Cleo. Prioritize cleaning the blood or prioritize hauling Cleo dead. Assign a colonist. No, you can't. We can't, uh, we can't assign anything to here. How do I bury this dog in a grave? Or can you not? Storage settings. Oh, animal corpses. We don't want all animal corpses, though. We just want dogs. What? What is she? A Labrador Retriever? Okay. Now what? Oh, right-click the dog and hold to grave. Prioritize burying Cleo. Okay. We've done it. Good job, chat. Okay, Cleo will be for forever remembered. As a, a dog that ate most of our food whilst it had a, a crippling spinal injury. Right? But look, we put a nice grave out in her favorite spot, a place that she was not allowed to go because we were worried that she would eat even more of our food. Um, so it's all, it's, all, it's all fine, right? Good job. Contains Cleo, died on the 1st of September, 5,500. We could maybe plant some flowers or something around it, I don't know. We'll never forget. That dog saved you twice during raids and got struck by lightning. That's true. I actually got struck in the head by lightning. The last events in Cleo's life. Kai Shark bashed Cleo in the tail horribly. Cleo tore Kai Shark in the torso, leaving a disgusting wound. Kai Shark hit Cleo in the front right leg, which destroyed the front right leg. A uh, bruise in the body made Cleo drop helplessly, and Cleo perished. It didn't quite work out that way. There's a bit in here. Uh, there was a bit in here between bruise in the body made Cleo drop helplessly and Cleo perished. Or maybe this was the... Uh, this is when we did the... We euthanized her. So maybe after Kai Shark hit Cleo in the front right leg and destroyed her front right leg, in between this and the next line, there's a whole... There's like years worth of... Cleo ate a meal all the time. Just so ate so many meals. You know? It's true, though. She did. It's true. Okay, let's cut this bush. I'm going to cut this bush in front of Cleo's grave so that we can put some something else there, like some flowers or something. You think if you bury a dog, you would take flowers and chocolates and like uh, the normal stuff that you'd take to a grave, or is it a bit different? You take you just like you put a can of pedigree on there, and their favorite, um, I don't know, dogs like hump and stuff too, right? You put their favorite hump toy out there as well. Not chocolate for a dog, no, of course not. You can't do that. Sprinkle some dog biscuits on the grave. True, yeah. I know dogs can't have chocolate. I know. I it was a moment of madness. Sorry, I wasn't wasn't co fully concentrating. But I do I do know that that about dogs. They're not allowed to eat chocolate. They'll get really sick, right? There's something about the chocolate that just they can't they can't process the chocolate. They struggle to process chocolate. There's some deer down here that we could do with hunting. Loads of deer. We have to be careful uh, killing deer, though, because uh, 
they'll attack in a pack, and you don't want that. Well, I certainly don't want that. I don't know about you guys. Um, zone, growing zone. Expand an allowed area, shrink a zone. Plant some potatoes. It's dark chocolate that they can't have. Really? Is that a thing? I'm gonna extract this whole tree in the morning. I've never extracted a tree before. How is Bella Rose's health doing? Fine. Look. Getting there. It's gonna make a full recovery. Bella Rose is gonna have a, a, a break though. Dull hospital, greedy for an impressive bedroom, slept in the heat, minor pain, bonded animal Cleo died, and is very hungry. I think Boomer is coming to feed her right now. Quest available, the deserter. Athenais Parsos, a machinist, is calling from nearby. She has deserted the army of the Empire of Copus and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. She wishes to join you at Dopamania. Parsos knows the location of key outposts containing everything needed to develop psychic powers. Beware, if you accept Parsos, you will become an enemy of the Empire of Copus. The pursuing loyalty squad will attack immediately, as it, it is composed of one trooper. I don't think we can fight. I mean, you saw the Emperor's bodyguards. They had machine guns and everything, right? There's, like, no way we can do it. So now we can replant this. Look at that. Look, we can... We can... We buried Cleo under a tree. We just had to move the tree into position in the first place. Very important. What's this? Oh, an unfinished light leather parka. Okay, Bella Rose was mid parka. We just need one more as well for Chartres, and then we should be good for the winter. I don't know how we're going to fare for food, though, but we'll see. Some of this stuff has not grown. Maybe it's because there's, like, a shadow here or something. I don't know. Why is the rest of it grown and that not so much? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's harvest up some berries. Harvest up some berries before winter hits, right? Hope that these potatoes will be ready to rock and roll soon, too. They're so close, actually. 99% grown. Okay, nice. Get this potato. Har oh, God. Okay, this is really good. Look at this. Gotta get these potatoes out of the rain here. Royal Tribute Collector Relationship. A royal tribute collector from the Empire of Copus is approaching. They will accept any prisoners and gold you offer as tribute. The one who gives over the tribute will receive honor for fulfilling the tradition and supporting the upper houses. You can expect a tribute collector to arrive roughly twice per year as long as you are not enemies with the Empire of Copus. They will hang around the colony for some time before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. There are people who have relationships with your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group. Trooper Marcion is the brother of Boomer. And Janissary Akinatus is also the brother of colonist Boomer. Wow. Look at this. These guys, look at the, look at this, look at this guy's in his pajamas. Okay, Bella Rose is our, is, she's, she's done, she's ready, she's cured. Ish. Okay, we gotta continue hauling potatoes. So that they're not getting all soggy out there in the rain. Sure. 
Chartres is planting a bunch of potatoes. Bella Rose, I think, has gone hunting. These guys are just going to come and mill around here for a bit. Oh, it's good. We're making meals. We could sell koala to them as tribute. That might be an idea, right? Since uh, she's kind of useless now because of her uh, arm situation. Yeah, I'm going to give them koala. She's damaged goods. If you sell someone to any faction besides their own, they become slaves. <laughs> oh, God. We get three honor. Bella Rose is going to get three honor for this. Except. Freeholder title gain. Bella Rose. Bella Rose received the, received the title of freeholder from the Empire of Copus. Because Bella Rose is greedy, she will demand that this title's pri privileges be fully respected. She may refuse to do certain work types, eat low class food, and will issue decrees. Title of freeholder cannot be inherited. If she dies, no one will inherit this type title. Okay. So, what does she need then? Needs. Darkness. Sold a slave. Greedy for an impressive bedroom. Soaking wet. I don't know what she needs. I guess we'll figure it out. She's wet, though. Give it to Boomer. Oh, Boomer's, uh... I should have given it to Boomer, yeah. I thought Bella Rose was the key negotiator, though. Okay, well, let's haul all these potatoes in. Get them stored. Hopefully he's going out to get some more. No, he's hauling food. Alright, good. Alright, well we we managed to get a potato harvest, so we're we're back in uh oh, transport pod has crashed. Whoa! Can you name the next colonist sips underscore? Cooking? Social? No intellect, though. <laughs> Pretty good cook and melee as well is kind of nice. Okay, we're going to rescue him. We don't want to anger another faction, but we will rescue him and maybe uh, see what happens. Hey, Greg! Thanks so much for the 1618. Can you name the next colonist Sips underscore? I'll think about it, okay? Thanks so much, Greg. I appreciate it. All right, we're rescuing this guy. He's, he does have a, a, a parka, though. Maybe we could take it? Are the potatoes going to slowly rot in the fridge? Nah. They're fresh. They'll spoil in 30 days. We'll cook them into meals before that happens. Don't worry. Okay, Boomer is tending to Kiko. Guest. Social. Acquaintance Bobby Boomer Gassane. Oh, it's because he's been uh, tending to him. We could capture him, but I don't know. This guy's been stabbed in all sorts. Look at this. He's got a minor artery blockage in his heart. He's got an itchy old gunshot in his right leg. He's had some severe blood loss, this guy, on his whole body, but it's okay. We'll nurse him back to health. The dog, uh, we, ha we had to kill the dog. Oh my god, get out of here. This is not a gather spot. Neither is this. You guys should not be in there. A combat supplier? Oh, okay, let's see what these guys have. Yeah, the dog, the dog is now in doggy heaven. You're right about that. Are these guys eating my food? That guy just helped himself to a meal. Okay, combat supplier. 
What do you got? Medicine, fire foam shell, tech print for jump packs, steel club, a steel spear, wooden war hammer, an L tech staff, a Zeus hammer, a mono sword, flame bow, great bow. It's all weapons. A light leather tail cap, good. A wooden war mask, good. Um, we can sell some of our old crap. Sure. We're gonna get two bucks for this. Nice. I'm rich. My two bucks. <laughs> I mean, we don't want to hang on to, like, old, old bow and arrows and stuff, though, do we? 26 cents. That's right, baby. Oh, man, it might finally stop raining. It's nine degrees outside. We harvested all those potatoes just in time. Well, this guy doesn't have any research uh, abilities, so there's no point, right? We just got to wait for somebody else. Level 9 construction. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Work left. 50 works are left. Not bad. Leave my sheep alone. Get out of the animal pen. Get out of there. Don't go in there. I like their backpacks. They look cool. He has the industrious perk. All right. Is that actually good? How's Bella Rose uh, holding up now? Disturbed sleep. Sold a slave. Greedy for an impressive bedroom. Bonded animal Cleo died. This is going to last for 18 days. Gosh. That's brutal, eh? Maybe we should have... Actually, well, Cleo would have just died eventually anyway, right? Maybe it's better to get it over with now. To save uh, future heartache. I'm pretty wise, aren't I? I feel like I'm like quite wise, you know? There's a wiseness to me. <laughs> no? <laughs> fuck is that emote what is, why do I, I look like letterman in that emote modern day letterman <laughs> it's really silly i like it though whoever made that thanks that made me laugh Build complete. Make parka. Oh my god. Everybody's got a parka. Parka for you, a parka for me, a parka for everybody. Parka, parka, parka. Oh, yeah. Okay, once Boomer's done these meals, I expect Boomer to butcher up these raccoons. That Bella Rose made a ton of effort to go out and kill. For the colony. Some Rob Reiner energy. Hey, look. She's rolling dubs. We've got dubs once again. Oh my god, we got two dubs. I can't believe we got two dubs. They're cleaning. A gift from Hippabo. They left me a steel axe. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. That might be worth something one day. I'm going to I'm going to treasure it. I'm never going to wash it. I love that. I need to expand this a little. And I'm going to I'm going to expand it. I'm going to put some more um shelf space in there. Part of me. God, I got the hiccups big time. So what now? You sold my potential colonist? Laura Lana, don't worry. We'll find somebody else, okay? What's he doing? Oh, I think he was uh, grieving. That's nice. Just a little bit of grieving before bed. 
does the body good. Disturb sleep. Slave sold. Outdoors. Want giggler apparel. Disturb sleep. Slave sold. Sold a slave minus five. I sold a person into slavery. I hope nothing terrible happens to them. It's uh, it's a, a sad tale with uh, Koala because um, she was just minding her own business. Then we abducted her. Then we made fun of her wooden hand. Then she got angry. Then we blew her arm off. Then we were hoping that the arm that we blew off was the one that had the wooden hand that she didn't like and and she felt uh, she felt insecure about in the first place, and it wasn't. And then we traded her to the Empire of Copus for um, for honor, like a pittance, a pitiful amount of honor. <laughs> such is the tale, such is the tale of Koala. Oh man. It's all right. We got a chance to, to make up for it with Kiko. I don't think we can, actually. Kiko is just a guest, and when Kiko's feeling better, he's just going to up and leave. He'll happily eat all of our food and take all of our medicine. But maybe deep down inside, he'll never forget this kindness that we extended to him, you know? He might stick around. Yeah, you never know. He might, you know, he might think, hang on a second. He's cap he's in he's now capable of walking and he hasn't left yet. I think he's you know, I think he's looking at some of these people and he's like, you know what? These are my people. These are my soulmates. I found my my place. I've wandered the whole galaxy looking for a place to fit in. I finally found it in dopamania. <laughs> 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 God, miracles do happen in dopamania. Okay, I'm gonna take down these walls. We need some roof in here as well. We're gonna need some floor. near Tasmania or Wrestlemania? No, neither. It's on a different planet. Okay, Boomer is channeling uh, the Psy energy. Psy focus. We could do a um, burden level one. Slow the target for a short time. Melee attack, undraft. How do we get Boomer to do um, the the convert somebody to your religion move? The big time religion conversion move. Is there a way? You want to live in dopamania? Man, who doesn't? Everyone wants to live in dopamania. Oh, you need to appoint them as the religious head? I think I've done that already. Social, assign role. Ethical chiller. Okay, Boomer is going to become... Um, oh, cannot be the garden knower. Okay, Boomer is going to become our ethical chiller. Do we want Boomer... You know what? We need to make Chartre, not the giggler, though. A special religious status focusing on planting to the exclusion of all else. This specialized role gives increased sowing and harvesting efficiency and the ability to boost the farming speed of nearby allies. Holders of this role will refuse to perform some non-plants related work. Abilities Farming Command. Disabled work handle cook, construct mine, smith, tailor, craft. Oh, okay, no, we don't want to give Chartres that because animal handling is has been kind of useful, right? For all of this wool and shit that we're getting. <gasps> There's a baby! A little baby! It's only 23 hours old! 
Oh my god. Okay, who wants to be this baby? <coughs> who wants to be the baby? Seal facts. Okay. Gotcha. Seal facts, the baby alpaca. Very nice. Very nice. That's good. Okay, another thing we can do is we can put some flooring out here. Floors. Straw matting. Rough straw matting for use in animal barns. It is cheap and accepts very little filth. Okay, let's put some of this down here. Look. For the pen. You know? Oh, he's eaten. He just ate almost 10 hays. You want a roof over this too? Uh, zone. Build a roof area. Okay. I built a roof area. For the alpacas. There you go. Sheep don't need a roof. They, they really like to be outside, sheep. I think we're going to get some baby sheep soon as well. It may be that we can uh, we can kill some of these animals when they're a bit bigger for meat and stuff if we're really struggling, like as a like a like a last resort. I don't see why not. I think we need to chop down more wood. Um, what is what do we want to do? Orders chop wood okay nice oh, man this place is shaping up am i enjoying the dlc so far yeah they're neat so far i think um we haven't it, it feels like the uh We've done, like, maybe a tiny bit of the royalty stuff, but it, it mainly seems to be the ideology stuff that we've done so far. All right, good. We need to sort out like a better kitchen and stuff too, right? Be good. It's good. We're uh, a lot of this smoke leaf. That's gonna spoil in 19 days. We can't really refrigerate it properly just yet, right? Outdoors. How how cold do you think it would be in there if we put like a um. If we put like a a wall here and a door. And then inside here, I put a passive cooler. Oh, that's not going to work, right? Do you think it'll be cold enough in here to just store food and stuff or not really? I don't have any power though. I can't do a freezer just yet. Better than nothing. It's too small. We j it needs to be colder. A giggler does the conversion. We can actually do a um, history factions. How do we do this? Research wildlife animals assigned schedule work architect. Begin a dopus advent, a dance party. A dance party with loud music. Participants will gather, socialize, and dance to have fun and connect with each other. We can do a role change. Ceremony for changing social roles. We could do a public execution, a leader speech. We can begin the conversion ritual. Focus objects, a light ball, and a ritual spot. We don't have a light ball. Okay, we need to start doing some of this stuff, right? No, 
it's not a call. We, we can't do a public execution. They're not allowed. Maybe our religion uh, frowns upon a public execution. I don't know. Could be something like that. Okay, this guy could have left by now. He's injured, but he's able to walk now. He's got poor movement, but it's getting better. Nice. All right, I think we got a load of meals for now. A rare thrombos. Oh. A rare thrombos appears. We're just getting prepared for the winter. We got uh, we've got all of our stuff though, right? Bill, make a parka is done. Make a burka. We want to make some toques as well, right? We want to make three toques. Would it? We failed the quest. Oh, Pugag's breakout. Yeah, sorry, Pugag. There is no chance we were leaving the colony to go and rescue Pugag ever, though, right? It wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Can you take Kiko's organs just in case we need them? I don't think you... I don't think it's a good idea. There's little sheeps! Look at how small they are! Two lambs! Oh my god, look, the, look, they're tiny! Holy crap! Okay, who wants to be a lamb? Tiny Tim? And... Tiny Tina? <laughs> Sorry, I, I figured, I found names for them already. Sorry, chat. It's too late. I couldn't resist. I do need a bigger enclosure for the animals, you're right. I'm gonna need a much bigger one. I'm gonna need some more um, growing space for them and stuff too, right? Structure. Wooden fences. Ambrosia bush. We can harvest all this stuff. Oh, we're making toques. Winter toques, in case it gets too cold. All right, we want to store this ambrosia. Maybe here. Uh, what is this? It's not manufactured. Is it? It's not a food, is it? What is it? A raw resource? It must be a drug, right? Ambrosia. Okay, how do I um, assign, manage drug policies, S new policy, smoke leaf joint, beer, okay, no ambrosia, no yayo, no flake, none of this stuff, okay. For addictions, for recreation, and scheduled, okay. Um, the, the, uh, the, 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 the dopists, uh, stay, stay, stay clean policy, policy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Close. Wait, did it work? Oh my God. What the hell? So we want this. Yeah? How do I... Did it work? Oh. Oh, I see. So I've got drug policy, so I need to then manage each person. Lavish default operations. No? Where do I do it? Same way. Now change the drug policy. Assign, manage drug policies, 
select policy. Did that work? No, no policy selected. Oh, I see down here. Sorry, I'm stupid. Perfect. Manage outfits. New outfit. Winter time. Um, so we want a. Um, so we want to clear all. And in the winter, we want you to wear uh, a toque. And a not armor. Utility. A cape. Parka. And a parka. Okay. So it's 14 degrees. Winter time. Winter time. Winter time. Okay. Tooks have been created. Nice. Everybody's got their winter gear on. Maybe it'll be too hot, I don't know. Maybe it was too soon to put them in their winter gear. Just the two in a parka and no pants or shirts? Oh yeah, have they taken all their pants and shirts off? Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, manage outfits, select outfit, winter time. So what else do we want them to, to have? Pants. Pants. And they can have, what, a t-shirt underneath as well? Or a button-down shirt? Pants and t-shirt? Will they put this stuff on now? <laughs> they don't have any pants or, or t-shirts or anything. What's this one? This is a t-shirt and pants. We don't want them to force wear anything though. Well, they all took all their clothes off underneath it. It's a, it's a bit weird, but it's happened. You gotta just accept that they don't want to use pants. No, somebody put some pants back on, actually. So definitely somebody wearing some pants. Chunks of spacecraft had have Erica's pregnant. Oh, Erica's pregnant. Okay. Oh yeah, there are some chunks of spacecraft here. Erica, you're pregnant, by the way. Maybe that's good. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay, we're going to store Ambrosia in here. Because I think we're just going to try to sell the Ambrosia, right? Chartres, where's your toque? And your other clothing? Where is it? Go put your toque on. It's cold. It's 21 degrees. It's cold out there, for Christ's sake. If you ever get a capybara in-game, name it after you. Okay. What's that? That's a, just a, like a bigger guinea pig, right? Like a big one? It's a big guinea pig? How dare you? Oh, sorry. It's not that? What is it, then? <clears throat> 21 degrees of shorts and shirt weather. What are you on about? I know. Well, I thought it was colder. It's the fall. But it's still it's still nice. I guess uh, when it snows is when we want to put the uh, when we want to put the parkas and stuff on, right? Assign winter time, manage outfits, select outfit, anything, nudist, soldier, worker. 
workers will wear burkas, button-down shirts, dusters, heavy bandoliers, jackets, pants, parkas, robes, sash, t-shirt. All right. Okay, when it gets really cold, that's when we're going to force the wintertime stuff, right? <laughs> we got lots of hauling jobs to do. Nobody seems to be doing them. We got 20 doobies as well. We used up all our potatoes, but we have so many meals made now. Fills. Uh, details drop on the floor. All right, this Kiko guy is doing a little bit better, I think. <coughs> Moving is up to 64% now. He's slowly recovering. Slowly. It's taking a while. It's taking a little damn while for this guy to fully recover. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when a duck self-tames and joins the colony, please name it after me and then have a delicious feast. I will. Don't worry, I will. Alright, we have uh, Cindy is age 2, Brian is age 7, Reggie is still 1 years old, almost ready to uh, shed some wool, and then of course we got Sealfax who's only 2 days old, and then we got Tiny Tina and Tiny Tim who are 22 hours old, and Erica is pregnant as well. Yeah, we gotta pump up the sandstone production, I know, but there's so many other jobs that we have to do as well, right? It's crazy. We've got lots of jobs that need to be done. We need to make a burka, which we have not made yet. The toques are done though. What is needed for a burka? Cloth, devil strand, hyperweath, synth thread, alpaca wool, bison wool, mega sloth wool, muffalo wool, sheep wool. Oh, I see. We'll, we'll probably have one done once we get some more alpaca wool. No, the research is going really slow. We don't have a, a proper researcher, sadly. We're working on it, but you know. It, we're, we're at the mercy of RNG for some of this stuff, you know? Well, at least we got a lot of dupes. <laughs> we got... We got quite a few doobies. Are we, we... Can we build a Boom Boom Saloon? You know it. Oh, you know it. We're gonna do one, don't worry. We got a, a Boom Boom Saloon coming right up. Storage, clear all. In here we want uh, apparels. Aha! I think this might be the burka. <coughs> I think this might be the burka for uh, Chartres to be, uh, to be able to perform his duties as Giggler. I don't think we can just recruit um, Kiko, no. I don't think so. Unless we, we can imprison him and then try to recruit him, but... We're going to try not to anger too many factions. If this guy wants to join, he can. He'll join if he likes us. Well, there you go. It could happen. We can convert him in the ritual site. You can try to tame the huge giraffe, yeah, but it's hard. 
and if it gets angry, you're dead. The Huskies and Darcy, a 64-year-old sheriff named Darcy, is calling from nearby. She says a pack of four man-hunting Huskies are hunting her. She begs for safety and offers to join you at Dopamania. If you accept Darcy, the man-hunting Huskies will follow in an hour. Darcy is too frantic to offer more information. A, a naturally evolved human with no major significant genetic modifications. This is Darcy, 64 years old. We could accept it. Four Huskies? No way we can handle four Huskies? Pretty old. I feel like you're right, though. I think four Huskies is going to be pretty rough. I mean, three rats almost killed us. How the hell are we going to handle four Huskies? I don't even have a turret or anything. Just pet the dogs. All right. Fine. We'll leave it. Okay, we made a burka though. So can Chartres wear the burka that was created for his religion? Will he do it? Chartres is about to have a uh, a break. High life missing. I should be altering my consciousness. It's not right to be sober so long. Caused by belief in idiodopistry. Drug use is essential. All right. I got just the thing for you, Chartres. It's time to sit back and relax. <laughs> Boom. Just blew his head off. Okay, look, he's... <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this thing. He's loving it. The giggler has arrived. Nothing funny about that. Jeez. What a sight, eh? Fucking hell. It's like... Uh, we're, we're, I feel like we're a step away from forming the KKK out here with, the, with some of this. I don't want to form the KKK. That's not why I started playing this game. I don't want it to do a is haunted. <laughs> oh. Oh well. He seems happy at least, I guess. It's good. He takes his religion very seriously out here. Can he actually do like a... Oh look, he can do a conversion. It's disabled, though, because Chartres will not do social work. Okay, I think we can make Boomer the leader, right? The ethical chiller? <coughs> okay, let's begin. Boomer is about to become the ethical chiller. We got Chartres and Bellarose attending. All in attendance who agree that Boomer should become the ethical chiller, say aye. Aye. There's an Aurora. Nice. It's gonna be you. The role change ritual is completed. Nice. Okay. So now Boomer can actually do stuff, right? Begin a leader speech, do a work drive, do a combat command, accuse somebody. A trial over some heinous accusation. The initiator will accuse someone of terrible wrongdoing and gather people for a trial. Spectators will listen as the accuser and the accused argue back and forth and decide if the accusation is true. If the accused is convicted, you can freely banish, arrest, or execute them, and nobody will mind. <laughs> the chance of a conviction depends on the social abilities of the accused and accuser, and the number of spectators. Call on a person to work harder for some time. This lasts for three days. Leader speech quality depends on the speaker's social impact? Oh, shit. I don't know if Boomer is the right person for this role, actually. I don't think Boomer has any social skills whatsoever. 
one. <laughs> utter beginner. How do you practice uh, your social skills as an utter beginner? <clears throat> Can you do like in The Sims and make them practice in front of a mirror or something? Oh, just trading? Trading and doing prisoner stuff? I think Bella Rose should be in the position as well. She's got good good social skills, but she's greedy. It's one degrees outside right now. Holy crap. Okay. We're going winter time. Winter time. Winter time. Oh, there's some peace quests that level your charisma as well? All right, okay. All right, I think we're good for food for now. We have uh, backup options if we need them as well. We might try to tame this warg. If we could tame a warg, we could have a warg army. Last time we played this, we had a lot of wargs, and they did a lot of uh, a lot of combat for us, which was kind of nice. Say goodbye to the tamer's arms. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it can get pretty rough for the old tamer's arms. Tiny Tim and Tiny Tina just had their breakfast. Look, they're awake so early. They woke up before um, their mom and dad. I think we're due some uh, some other babies soon as well. We've got so many animals now. It's crazy. So now that everybody's wearing uh, winter clothes... Oh, shit. How are we going to warm up indoors? We don't really have any, any heating. God, we need to really... We, we really need to get some electricity going, huh? It takes a long time to get new colonists, yeah. Hopefully this other guy joins us, Kiko. Actually, we can check his bio now. He's got 10 social, 8 cooking, and 6 melee. It's pretty nice. Okay, Kiko is fully healed and is leaving. Oh, there's some cargo pods here, though. With some psychite tea. That's not helpful. Kiko decided not to join us, it turns out. He's just leaving. He didn't even say thanks. He's just leaving. He's out. Who's having a major break risk? Boomer. Why? High life missing. Underground or outdoors? Outdoors. Wants the ethical chiller apparel. What is it? A flop hat. Well, go put on a flop hat, you dummy. Awful bedroom. Slept in the cold. Well, go have a joint at least. It'll make you feel a bit better. Okay, I think we need to alter this to put flop hats on, right? Assign, manage outfits, select outfit, winter time, toques or flop hats. Headgear. Flop hat. A burqa. What is a burqa? A large garment that conceals the wearer's entire head and body. Does it keep them warm, though? Okay, we'll, we'll make it so that they can, if they want to, wear flop hats. Okay, Bella Rose has opted for a flop hat. Boomer, you can go have one as well. If you, if you want. 
Boomer's gonna opt for one. Okay, Boomer's wearing a flop hat now too. Nice. Very good. Relations with Hippabo have changed from 0 to 16 because the member exited the map healthy. There, we did it. Some free rep with Hippabo. Liz, that's me, is pregnant. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna have too many animals. We're gonna have to start culling the herd, I think. We're gonna have way too many animals soon. I did it. Oh, it's 16 degrees outside. It's not too bad. Okay, Bella Rose. Kill this turkey. Hunt it down. You hunt it down. Zone? Growing zone? Okay, let's do this growing zone. But then let's uh, shrink this zone. Like that. And then let's do a uh, structure wooden fence. And then let's also do a wooden fence gate here. Perfect. Your OCD. Well, look at it. It's it's just like one little square. What can you do? I think we're gonna try to move the uh, some of the sh the sheep in there, so they have a bigger pasture, right? Be good to get like some uh, some mega sloths so that we could get some milk as well, right? Could do an indoor area for animals for them to sleep. I guess so. Will they will they opt to sleep in the uh, in the covered area? I guess you can force them with sleeping spots, right? If that's how you want to do it. You can force them. Reggie is 2 now. Brian is 7. Cindy is two. I think we can probably kill Brian for meat and wool, right? And then just have Reggie and Cindy, and then uh, uh, and then eventually uh, kill Reggie, and then it'll just be Sealfax and Cindy. Am I gonna do it in front of them all? I might, yeah. I haven't decided yet. I'm still thinking about it. This is a button-down shirt. Assign. Manage outfits. Select outfit wintertime. Button-down shirt. Kid pants. Kid parka. Kid pants. Kid romper. It's like a t shirt and a kid shirt as well. Tribal wear, slave body strap, a sash. Strip material worn over one shoulder. It offers minimum protection from heat, cold, and attacks due to its minimalist nature. Nudist won't complain about wearing it. Oh, okay, I see. A long flowing robe without a hood. So you think that the burqa is, is okay? And what about robe? Because I know Boomer wants to wear the, uh, let me see, in here, under appearance, it's under roles, right? Where are the roles? Roles. Ethical chiller. Must be a doper. Required apparel is just a flop hat. Okay. But the, um, but the giggler wants to wear a burqa.
Let the giggler wear his burka. Please let the giggler wear his burka. He wants to so bad. Good job, Boomer. Look at well, look what Boomer's doing. Oh, that's nice. We're trying to keep it um, cold in here, but. What's the temperature? It doesn't say. Indoors, 12 degrees. Outdoors, 2. Oh shit, our simple meals are starting to rot away. Okay, Chartres put back his burka. Another simple meal has rotted away. Oh no, this is bad news for us. May need a fire in the animal pen soon for warmth. For warmth? What, for the animals? I yeah, don't have to keep the animals warm, do we? They can survive the winter? Alright, nice. This is going to be the sheep pen in here. They can just make babies to keep... Exactly. You're right. That's exactly what they can do. That's fine by me. If that's what they want to do, then that's what they can do. Sandstone chunk. Bills. We should be doing make sandstone blocks, but I guess it's down to Bella Rose to do it. And if Bella Rose is busy doing other stuff, she won't do it. Bella Rose is in pretty uh, high demand. There's always something for Bella Rose to be doing. If you dig down deep enough, it's cold enough for food to freeze. Nice. I don't know if you can dig deep in this game, though, or can you? Oh, you mean dig deep, like, enough into a mountain? It'll be cold enough. I got no sandstone? I do, I got a whole bunch here. There's some some here too. Do I gotta put it into like storage or something? Yeah, I know I need to make bricks. I think she's prioritizing crafting doobies over the sandstone. It doesn't matter. Cooking level two. Wait, Bella Rose develops cooking skill from rolling up doobies? Okay. Sure. Okay, let's put that there too, and then we can change this to sheep. We can move the sheeps over to the new pen. Uh-oh. There's one of these exploding guys here. Alright, so animals uh, allow females and males... We want sheep. God, there's so many animals in this now. Sheep. Okay, and in here, we just want alpacas. All right, chartres. Can you please rope Erica and then rope Dowie and then rope Slippy Fontaine and Liz, that's me, and Tiny Tina and Tiny Tim. Got to get them out of here. He's getting them all at once. Incredible. Look at this. Chartres, you're a, you're a beast. All right. Enjoy your new... Your your new free-range pat, patty. Your, your, your patty. Enjoy that. Are we going to get more smoke leaf? Holy crap. We might get another harvest in before it, the winter goes bad. That 
that was very efficient. You're right. Very good. So who do we have here? Seal facts. A marriage spot and a party spot. Marriage spot. Party spot. <laughs> Looks like a PlayStation controller. It's got all the symbols from PlayStation. Hey, Sips, thank you for providing rim settings. I shared them with my wife and golly, is she happy? <laughs> no problem. No problem. My party inside when you can chill outside? It is zero degrees outside. I think everybody is warming up with their parka though. Should be fine. They're happy to be wearing a flop hat. Just going back to bed. What happens if you build um, a building around a, a geyser? Will it heat it up? Is it like a natural way to heat up an uh, indoor space? Yes! Oh, it'll get super hot though. All right, so if I if I built the, the, the room and like snaked it down here and then to here, would it still get really hot in here? Or would the heat dissipate along the way? It's a valid strat in tribal starts. All right. You can leave a roof tile off. You can install a vent or door that goes outside to vent the heat. Heat dissipates through all walls exposed to the outside. That's pretty cool. It's good to know. Oh, it's almost like really cold winter though. It's three degrees outside today. There's a bit of sun. We might get another smoke leaf harvest in. We're lucky. We got plenty of dubs to be getting on with, but we have run low on meals once again. I guess we got three people eating three meals per day pretty much, right? So. We're gonna run out at some point. We might have to hunt some uh, deer or something. We might have to slaughter Brian. Who wants to slaughter Brian? Okay, let's, uh, let's chance killing a deer. We'll try it. Actually, let's kill this turkey first. We got a whole bunch of boom rats over here. There's the tortoise. It's gotta be done. We must tame a tortoise. We'll accept him in here, animals. Oh wait, you can't. You can't do it. You can't put them in a pen. So you just gotta bring them back to your, your camp. Terry cannot be penned. Terry, uh, come on now. Uh, come on, Terry. Oh man, Chartres, don't even bother doing the research. There's no point. Better off picking up food. Poor little Layla. Romanos Kelleris, high stellarch of the Empire of Copus, is looking for a safe settlement to take care of his pet warg Layla for 10 days. Except for three honor. Except for... A recurve bow masterwork and 85 sil silver. 
valued at 250 bucks or goodwill your goodwill with the empire of copus will improve by 11 we have zero goodwill goodwill measures the general relationship between faction if it falls below minus 75 the faction becomes hostile and will raid your settlements we could get three honor titles and side link rewards and special permits like military aid however colonists with higher titles will also need specific apparel and bedroom furnishings Maybe we just go for the recurve bow masterwork and the silver. You think the titles are nice? Okay, I'll take the honor then. Um, and let's give the honor to Chartres. Oh. Let's accept it for um, Bella Rose. Yeah. Okay, Layla has arrived. Layla, do do do. Oh yeah, holy shit. Okay, where can we put Layla? Where should we put Layla for ten days? Um, we can just put Layla in here, I suppose, right? Just confine her to this room. Um, okay, Layla. Animals. Manage areas. New area. Rename. Layla. Invert. Okay, let's assign her to that. And then we go zone. Um, expand allowed area for Layla to just be in here. Do not attack my sheep. Do not attack my alpacas. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll just let we'll just leave her in there for ten days. Hopefully, she doesn't shit all over the beds and uh, rip up all the sheets and uh, and make a big mess. She's gonna starve. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna feed it. Oh, wargs only eat raw meat and corpses. So we're gonna have to bring Layla. Can we can we feed this? Can we feed, like, a corpse to Layla? Like, if I say consume turkey, no. So we want to, we just want to have, like, a, just add a store for some raw meat. Just let her wander around. All right. Animals unrestricted. Okay, fine. Sure. I hope she doesn't go crazy and attack any of the colonists. That would be terrible. But I suppose if she gets hungry, she'd just wander out and kill a rat or something, you know? There's deer out there that she can kill as well, I suppose. Look at all this, uh, this last-minute smoke leaf that we're getting in. We got two harvests of this stuff this year. It's pretty good. We might even get a third potato harvest. I doubt it, though. It's going to get pretty cold soon. There's not enough light. The days are getting much shorter. She won't attack anyone? All right, we'll see. She's inside the sheep pen, though. Do do. Is the ambrosia near the deer is fully grown? I think so, yeah. We got 42 ambrosia. Yeah, I think this is all 
harvestable. Good. We could try to sell it for some money, right? Be good. Try to tame this tortoise. Make a stockpile for sandstone to resume brick making. Is that what's what's lacking? Zone, stockpile zone, storage, clear all, buildings, raw resources. It's not raw. It's stone blocks. No. Chunks, stone chunks, sandstone chunks. Storage chunks. Don't take the sandstone chunks here. All right, let's haul some of this stuff over and then we can resume brick making. You're right, that would be good. Chunks. You like the way I say chunks? Chunks, 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 chunks. This tea is stone cold. I'm still drinking it, though. Okay, day one of babysitting Layla. Not bad. Not bad. No major issues reported. Get her to eat a boom rat. I don't know if I can. If she dies, I won't get the honor. Now, you can't force Layla to do anything. There's an ancient car frame here. What can you do with that? Do you have to attack it? a mad rat here. Boomer. Get ready. The rat is incoming. What a shot. <laughs> Boomer, that's amazing. Oh, Lord. No problem. Yeah. Just handled expertly by Boomer. Maybe Layla can go eat the rat. Layla, go eat that rat. Okay, let's haul some of this stuff inside. Boomer's just slicing up the rat before Layla could even react. It's got to make those meals. You got to make those big meals. There's a couple of horses down here. Can you tame horses and then ride them around or not really? There's an Ibex doe here. There's another warg up here, a rhino as well. There's not really anything else around. There's a raccoon here. We can just survive on critter meat for a while, I think. <sighs> Riding horses equals a cowboy colony. There's a major break risk coming up for Boomer who needs slightly impressive dining room, wearing a flop hat, high life is missing. Okay, Boomer. Boomer's gotta hit one. He's gotta hit one hard. 
What other needs? Outdoors, slept in the cold, insulted, and a bit drowsy. Why drowsy? Oh, haven't slept in a while. All right, Boomer's just having a, a mid mid afternoon sleep. You need mods to ride animals on a regular map, but base game they increase caravan speed. Oh, okay, so you can have horses. You can have a whole bunch of horses uh, for your caravan. That's pretty cool. What did we use last time? We used, um, I think we used um, muffalos a lot, didn't we? It was muffalos that we used a lot of. Oh, you can use alpacas as well? Oh, okay. Good. So we potentially could do a caravan. They're good but hard to feed. So now that we got sandstone chunks here, we might be able to get back onto the, uh, the block making. That's the theory, at least. Well, Bella Rose doesn't seem interested. Oh, she's going to bed, to be fair. I think Chartres might go to bed as well. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Man, it's so slow without the research, eh? Like, we would have had electricity and everything by now if we just started with somebody who could actually do research. We don't have anyone. Oh yeah, we have electricity, just not batteries. True, yeah. Batteries is the one that we need though, right? Well, we don't necessarily need batteries actually if we do a generator. Do I need a generator though? Cindy gave birth? Wait. Oh yeah, Cindy's two years old. Okay, well, looks like we got another alpaca here. Um, training. We need a generator for the freezer, yeah. Shonoban. Shonoban. Show no ban. Show, show no ban. There you go. You're in. You got it. You've detected a logging worksite nearby controlled by Basculo Treaty. View quest. You've detected a logging worksite nearby controlled by Basculo Treaty. If you wish, you can raid the camp to collect loot. 306 wood. Since Basculo Treaty is just a small independent group, you can attack them without any broader diplomatic consequences. The camp will pack up and move in 30 days. Oh, well, that's cool. It's good to know. Okay, let's haul that away. And let's haul this one away too. All right, let's do that. And then let's also make a uh, wooden door here. We'll put all, all of our meals in here in this freezer. We'll make a freezer here. Um, architect power. Wood fire generator. 
Royal Ascent, you have learned of a way to escape this planet. The High Stellarch of the Empire of Copus will perform a customary visit with any count of his domain upon request. Invite him, satisfy his royal needs for 12 days, and all of you can ride the shuttle to the Imperial Flotilla. You may then join the Imperial Court or escape to a new life among the stars. Earning the title of Count means completing quests to earn honor with the Empire of Copus. It may take years to finally achieve the title of Count. During his visit, you must keep his mood above 25%. This means providing royal prerequisites like a lavish bedroom. Others will take the opportunity to try to kill the High Stellarch and will attack with great intensity. Be prepared to defend. The High Stellarch will bring four of his personal guards and place them under your command. You must house these guards, but the High Stellarch will not complain if they are killed or unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> you must keep the visitors at Dopamania and not send them anywhere else. If you fail this quest or migrate, you will have another chance at it later. This is except for Passage Off World. To accept this quest, you need a colonist with the title of Count Countess, a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirements of Stellarch Romanos. That's so cool. So you don't necessarily have to build the ship. There's different ways to uh, to complete it now. It's neat. Yeah, it is very complex, this game, isn't it? It's nice. <laughs> floors? Wood floors? Uh, power, temperature. We want a cooler? Um, power, we want a power conduit. Will this hook up from here to here? Should, it should do, right? I can't remember if it does. Quest available, the revered stone artifact. The revered stoned artifact. You've learned that a relic of idiodopus tree is nearby. The stoned artifact is an ancient object venerated by all dopers. If you could collect it, you could build a great reliquary to make dopers happy, attract wealthy pilgrims, and bring more people to idiodopus tree. First, you need to find the stoned artifact. Watch for opportunities to gather information about it. It's worth 500 bucks. Holy crap, I can't wait. We must find it. Yeah, I know. It's I know. Okay, so this thing is target temperature 21 degrees. We want it to be like uh minus 1, right? So that everything in there is what do, what do we normally do? Minus five to make sure that everything in there is frozen? set one of these up here too and then we can put a vent in between here to keep that the production and the dining room nice and warm can you pump the heat into the house yeah it'll get too hot in the summer though it's better to condition the the air right we'll do it that way just set it to like 21. So in here right now is minus five. Perfect. So let's move this shelf. Keep this stuff nice and cool.
All right, good. We got to kill uh, an Ibex doe. An Ibex doe will give us a decent amount of uh, meat, right? Uh oh. Boomer is being hunted by a warg. All right, everybody, indoors. We can't fight this warg, wherever it is. Did it fuck off? Oh no, Layla is being attacked by a warg. Layla, no. Boomer, run. Oh my god. Oh my lord. We did it. Okay, Layla is a little injured. She'll survive though. It's just a just a couple of scratches. Oh my lord. That was insane. We did it. Close. Medical treatment needed on Boomer. Boomer is already tending to herself. Where's Layla? Oh, here. Okay, tend to Layla as well, so that we don't fuck up this quest. Boomer is about to have a major break. Serious pain, drowsy, insulted, unsightly environment, slept in the cold outdoors. Let's haul this, and then we can clean up some more of this blood after as well, right? Loads of blood. All right, Boomer and Layla. Slippy Fontaine has given birth. I didn't even know Slippy Fontaine. What the heck? We got too many animals now. Way too many animals. More meat. We could separate the males, yeah. We might need to, actually. We got Tiny Tim. We got Tiny Tina. And now we've got... <sighs> Vacant Nobody. Vacant Nobody. Nice. Oh. Bella Rose killed uh, this uh, this thing as well. Nice. I guess we want to try to store uh, some of these um, carcasses in here, right? Would be better. Clear all. Allow fresh corpses, animal corpses. Okay. Boop, 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 
Boo 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 boo. It's gonna get really hot out here. Make this the freezer. What about this one being the freezer though? It's also a nice freezer, no? Um, architect. We want a zone. Build a roof area. No, I didn't want a roof area there. I think this has a roof. It's got a thin rock roof. Thin rock roof. Okay, Boomer. What happened to you? Left leg was bitten by a warg. No problem. Oh, all of our hay grass is starting to die because of the cold. It's so cold out. It's minus 11 degrees outside. Jesus Christ. It's freezing. Okay, this is maintaining 21 degrees. Inside here... It is not maintaining at all. Indoors, it's minus one degrees. Target temperature is 21 degrees. Power needed 200 watts. Power output 1,000 watts. Oh, the cooler only cools? Oh, so I need to put the... Oh, wait. How do I, um... All right, so I'd have to make this whole area, like, in indoors here? You need both? Yeah, I know there's the heater, but it it's, um... But the heater, we need to be able to cool it in the summer as well, right? Oh, you gotta use both? Oh, there's the heater. Of course, there's an actual heater that we need, right? To heat the, to heat this place up. And we can just switch the heater off in the summer. I remember. The Bill of Treaty is here. It looks like there's two people raiding us. With bows and arrows. They're gonna come around uh, this way, I believe. Boomer is still recovering. Okay, we need you out here, Boomer. I know you're not fully healed yet, but... Slippy Fontaine is pregnant again. All right, Slippy Fontaine. Your time is up. Check out this ambush. Romia and Kamba. Do we want to try to... Eight intellectual on Romia. And six... Okay, capturing either of these guys would be really good, actually. If we can do it without killing them. Okay, the tribes people from the Billa Treaty are on their way in. It looks like Boomer is going to have a major break. Mid action. God, these shots, though, Bella Rose. Okay, let's move Boomer in. Nice shot.
Nice shooting. Holy shit. Some jade. Nice. We've only gone and done it. We need to, a place to store some jade. How about in here? Um, what is this? Raw resources? Jade? How did you guys become useful all of a sudden? I don't know. That was some fine shooting, wasn't it? Misk? You need two graves. That was some mighty fine shooting. Okay, Boomer is fully healed. This is nice. We got some more constructing to do here. Get some heating going. How much is a heater um, take? Heater blueprint. Temperature heater. It doesn't say how much, uh, how many um, powers it needs. Maybe it just needs a little powers. A tiny bit. I'm burying good warg food. Oh, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, once Layla recovers, she can go and eat those corpses, right? We don't mind if she does. Okay, so this target temperature is going to be minus 5 as well. And then we want this heater. Target temperature is 21 degrees. So inside here, it's warming up a little bit. We might need another heater around the way. Um, power. Conduit. Oh, building uh, conduits in the walls isn't always the best idea, though, is it? Because of... Um, oh, transport pod crash. Humps. Humps the night. He's really good with animals, plants, and melee. Okay. He's not, no, he has no intellect whatsoever, though. I feel like we want to do, like, um... Something like that. If we get attacked from down there again, you know? I guess they can, like, go this way, too. Which we don't really want. Structure. Try to close it off a bit. Remember to use traps. Yeah, I will, yeah. We've, we've used them before, and it was pretty good, right? Okay, humps is being tended to. Uh, loads of potato plants are dying because it's cold. I guess we could try to harvest these. I think it's too late. I should have harvested them earlier, right? This is affecting two of our colonists. Boomer is about to have a major break. Oh, the low psychic drone is pretty rough.
Uh, we want to go architect orders harvest. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to eat a meal. Sure. So it's minus 13 in there. That's indoors, considered indoors. Minus five in here. It's 18 degrees in here and 11 degrees in here. So probably need another heater or so. We need to get some heaters installed in these bedrooms too, right? And in the hospital too. Bella Rose is on it. I think all these sheep might just die uh, over the winter, right? There's nothing for them to eat. The alpacas have all the food. They're more important. Oh no. I don't need this to all be roof area. having a tantrum no boomer don't do it nothing can make come on nothing can make boomer happy there's just not enough here to make boomer happy i guess meditating helps built there either a joint boomer doesn't prioritize smoking joints herself though high life missing outdoors undergrounder outdoors and slept in the cold all right temperature another heater And then we want um, power conduit to go across here and run up into these bedrooms as well, right? And then we should get away with having temperature, a heater in here and probably a heater in here and then vents, right? That should work. And then at least they don't have to sleep in the cold. Make a drug policy for him to schedule in some regular weed. That's a good idea. Okay, the temperature should climb in here. And in here, it's 20 degrees. That's good. It's minus one in this unroofed area. It's minus five in there. Perfect. It's already 20 degrees in this room. Man, Bella Rose is such a, such a good worker, a hard, diligent worker. Look at this. No problem. She's so fast. She's getting all this air conditioning. Oh, we got quite a few potatoes from that. We managed to save quite a few. I think we're going to probably try to get these guys uh, done as well, right? Zone, harvest. Can these, uh, these things can't grow in the winter, right? Or can they? They can. Do they die? No, I didn't let, let humps bleed out. He's, he's healed. Oh, they don't die. So you can just leave them. 
Oh, they do die. They don't die, but they don't grow either. What is it? Do they die or do they don't die? I think they would have died by now, honestly. Maybe they don't die. Let's we'll 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 test it out. Let's see. got a lot to do. It's fine, though. Oh, my God. Okay. So, in here is for colonists. Uh, Boomer, can you please rescue Humps the Knight? Power. Power conduit. There, we'll run some power up here too. We didn't even need batteries. We could have had this all set up much sooner, right? I'm just dumb. Now we're setting it up like midwinter. Well, it's better late than never, I suppose. We might actually have a chance of surviving. Um, how come this isn't working? How come this isn't on? Don't have enough uh, power from this? Pardon me. Probably not enough power from the generator. Oh, shit. I guess this one can be, um... Reconnect. Deconstruct. So we turn that one off. It's not needed, right? Until the summer. Don't stifle your sneezes. Why not? Okay, look, it's nice and hot in here. Humps joins! Humps is thankful that you rescued him. He had decided that he would rather stay than leave and is joining your colony. Oh! Good news! All right. Well, Humps. Humps is joining us. Okay, we're gonna have to work on converting this guy, though, right? Because he is uh, high army. How do we how do we convert him? I guess Boomer can do it. No, Chartres can do it, right? We should have made Bella Rose um, the uh, the the Chartres, right? We're gonna need um, some clothes and stuff for this guy, right? It's cold. Sign humps winter time. You can change roles. A ceremony for changing social roles. The person changing roles will give a speech while others gather around. The required number of spectators must attend. So Chartres... Can Chartres... Um, can, there, can there be only one giggler? Okay, so this guy is good at melee. Really good at melee. Let's get the plasteel knife then.
Only one giggler, okay. Humps is about to, uh, is about to break. Major break risk. He's not feeling well, but to be fair, he hasn't eaten. This guy needs to, this guy needs to join the crew. <laughs> He's not accustomed. <laughs> oh no. Humps, you tried. A for effort. It was too much. It knocked him on his ass. Bella Rose rolls him too tight. Shit. Okay. Social. Sign roll. Giggler. Begin. Uh... Bella Rose is going to become the new Giggler. Yeah, humps just greened out big time. Okay, Bella Rose can convert humps once she becomes the new giggler, I think. Nice. All right, we've had a successful role change. Chartres has given up on the burka. Bella Rose, convert. Attempt to convert someone to the speaker's... I religion. This will reduce the target's certainty in their own beliefs. The certainty reduction depends on the speaker's negotiation ability. Certainty reduction 24%. It's good. Humps was upset by the attempt, apparently. Major break risk. Okay, so... That's done. Chartres no longer the, the giggler. Bella Rose is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy. Okay, Bella Rose. Good job. Everybody's at the party area enjoying a huge party. Except for Boomer, who is meditating. And Humps is overcoming. Can be the garden, Noah? Chartra loves that garden. Yeah. You know what? He can be, yeah. Oh, everybody else is at a party right now. We gotta wait till the party's over. Bella Rose is going on a smoke leaf binge. Sure. That's fine. We got plenty of them. Get humps up for the party. You wouldn't want to miss it. Nah, he can't handle it. Humps can't handle the party. Bella Rose is going to absolutely blast herself off of this planet. She's got to go in the freezer to cool down a little bit. Okay, Humps is back. Let's give him this knife. Oh, the psychic drone's ending. That's fantastic. God, that's so good. So Humps uh, is not... So Humps, we don't want him to do hunting at all. Even though he likes to do hunting, he's no good at shooting. We'll, we'll get him to do handling. He can do some growing and plant cutting. Primarily, we'll just use him as, uh, as a uh, meat shield and somebody who can handle animals, right? Because Chartres... If Chartres becomes the, uh, the, the weed tender person then um, he won't do any of the animal taming anymore. I'll be back in two seconds, Chad. I just got to go to the toilet. I'll be right back, okay? Two minutes. Mm. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, Rice Price, thanks again for the 10. Uh, we're going to make uh, Chartres the, um, the garden ore, yeah. As soon as Bella Rose and Humps are feeling better, we can do the ritual. I think uh, it'll be fine, right? Bella Rose is on a weed binge and has the munchies big time. How was my poop? I didn't poop. I peeped. I only peeped. No poop. Oh my god. We've got too many sheep here. Way too many sheep. Can you milk them? 
Who's exhausted? Bella Rose is exhausted by all the weed smoking. Sure. It looks like the binge might be over. Nice. We got some hungry pen animals. Um, I think we're going to have to move like one hay. How do I move some hay into here for these animals as well? It's six degrees outside, and it's fall. Can you sing my humps for humps? Is that the uh, is that the black eyed peas one? My humps, my humps, my 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 humps. I'm not overly uh, familiar with it. Excuse me? Lovely lady lumps? Check it out. <laughs> check me out. Check out my check out my lumps. My lumps and my humps. My humps. Well everybody's got a parka and a toque on for the uh, for the winter. You're checking. And I'm checking. Temperature? Heater? We need a heater in here. Big time heater in here. Got a major break risk in humps. Who's probably freezing ass cold. Layla is uh, is feeling healthy again, it looks like, at least. Everybody else asleep. Bella Rose needs some sleep. Uh, we seem to have lost uh, heat up here again. I don't know why this is uh, this is happening. Maybe uh, maybe we gotta combine the uh, animal carcasses in here into this uh, freezer instead of using two of these separately. Might be a good idea. Sips, I'm going to come. I'm loving that Rimworld is back. Thanks for the great streams. Also, who is the most French Canadian person you ever met and why? It's 18 degrees in here. 19 degrees. So it says that it doesn't have power, but it does have power because it's nice and warm in here, right? Um, we're going to set this for humps. We're going to live in here. Uh, Jim TWB, thanks so much for the 10. Who is the most French Canadian person I ever met and why? Um, who is the most French Canadian person I ever met? I used to work with this guy called Jean Guy. Uh, and uh, this is, he worked nights at a grocery. He's probably dead now. He was so old at the time. Um, he worked nights at a grocery store. And all he talked about all the time in the craziest French Canadian accent you ever heard was um, how he could write things off against his taxes. That's that's all he ever talked about. And he called everybody stupid for not writing things off on their taxes. Bearing in mind, he was like 70 years old at the time. And he was doing... He was working nights in a grocery store on the weekend with a bunch of guys who were like 18, 19 years old. And he would talk, like, our whole break, he would be like, I, you could get a car and write it off and uh, all this stuff. And it's like, uh, nobody fucking cares about what you're saying right now at all. But he would just keep going and going and going, just couldn't read the room, you know? It was like that. It was just like that. It was like that every night we worked with him. Yeah. Claim this against your tax. And, and this is back in like the 90s when you could. Company cars and all that were, were like a big, you know, way to get around tax and stuff. But he didn't have a company or anything, so I don't know what the hell he was talking about. I don't know. Anyway, Jim, that is the most French Canadian person I've ever known. His accent was so strong, and uh, he was. Man, he just looked like uh the most french canadian person ever as well he just had that look about him you know i don't know he's just just everything about that guy how do you say croissant i don't know i don't even know french canadians enjoy a croissant i think they have um i think they're more into like pepsis and joe louis and stuff like that you know what i mean they're french if you like but it's like it's like cowboy French, you know? 
They like a poutine. Yeah, but they they do like a poutine as well. I think. Yeah. They like a Saint a Saint a Saint Hubert. Saint Hubert. They love that. Quest available. The gigantic structure. Praetor Pretonia Agirios of the Empire of Copus is requesting that you build a monument to on, honor the work of smiths. The monument is 6x5 in size and will require these resources. A total value of 163 bucks. Any metallic, woody, stony? 145 Any... Part of me, sandstone blocks, granite blocks, limestone blocks, slate blocks, marble blocks. Construction must be completed within 14 days of accepting the task. You'll receive the rewards when you finish construction. If the monument is destroyed within 15 days of construction, your relations with the Empire of Copus will fall by minus 10. We can get a sleepy gene pack, a small capsule containing a package of genetic information. To use a gene pack... It must be placed in a gene bank near a gene assembler and combined into an implantable xenogerm. If not kept in a powered gene bank, this gene pack will slowly deteriorate. It's worth 300 bucks. We could build up some goodwill that we don't need to right now. We're neutral. Or we can grab some honor for um, somebody, anybody. Everybody scream. Honor. You think we actually build this thing though? It's a lot of um I guess I guess any stony we could just make the whole goddamn thing out of sandstone, right? It's fine. Any metallic woody stony? Okay, let's accept it for honor. And let's give the honor to humps, shall we? Okay, the pods have arrived. Transport pods with the following contents arrive. Monument marker. Oh my god. Where the hell do we install this thing? Let's just put it back here for now, I guess. Man, all of our sheep are starving. I don't know how um, to limit the amount of hay in here. Link settings? Link storage settings for multiple selected buildings so that they share storage settings? The group will start with the settings of whatever you selected first. You must select two or more buildings to link their storage settings. What uh, if, if I do that... Where are you, Bella Rose? Okay, build this first. And then let me try this link storage settings thing. Will it distribute stuff across the storage settings? Because these animals, they need some hay. Big time. Okay, we link the storages for two of those buildings. No. So we need to build some singles instead? Slippy Fontaine has miscarried due to starvation. Fuck, we gotta get some we gotta get some gear in here big time. Maybe we just gotta do some singles. Okay, Bella Rose. Let's do it. Chartres, can you please haul this hay in for these sheep? They need it so bad. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Look at them all eating. <laughs> Holy crap. That's hilarious. Okay, storage. Maze we, you can write the monument off. Say T guy do. Link settings. Already linked. Unlink. Link settings. Okay, perfect. May we, you can write the monument off. Say tigwood tigadoo. Face place blueprints. 
for marble blocks, steel wood. Oh, okay, so this one needs... Oh, I see. At least that's me is giving birth to more sheep. God damn. They ate all of that hay already. They're eating up the whole supply. 28, 36, 25. I think it's time to slaughter some sheep, you know. I think we might have to do it. Humps is taken forever to recover as well. Holy crap. You can enable auto slaughter if you haven't already. Do I want to do that? Rename, plant hay grass, allow sowing, allow cutting. Build copy, wooden fence, deconstruct, auto cut animals. How do you do auto slaughter on them? Food, pen size, medium size pen, nutrition growth, force animal, sheep, 11 counts. Days to stockpile exhaustion, zero. Total consumption, 2.45. Auto cut. It's going to cut all the plants and stuff. Oh, you got to go to the animals tab. Manage auto slaughter for sheep. Current. We want one male adult. We want one female adult and then what do we want we want one young male we can't slaughter the small ones though right we just want one male adult and one female adult you set the young to five or so Don't slaughter the younglings. Eat all of the lambs. The small ones grow more meat as they go. I see, okay. So we just want one adult male and one adult female. And the rest of them we can keep. And the alpacas as well. We got five adult males. Let's keep like two, I guess. Oh, wait. No. It's here. Do we just want to do the same with the alpacas? Two females. One male and two females? Sorry, what are we talking about? Sheep or alpacas here? During summer, you can keep more, but during winter, food is going to be an issue. Oh, for both. One male and then two females. One male and two females. Okay. Fine. Do do do. Do 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 do. I think one has been slaughtered. <laughs> I think Humps did it. I think Humps just went in and fucking murdered Liz SV. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, he wasn't fucking around, huh? Oh, man, that's hilarious. Well, we got no food to feed these sheep. We need to grow way more grass. to store some of this stuff too, right? <laughs> Who's this one? Brian! <laughs> no! Oh no, they killed Brian! I can't believe it. He's been slaughtered. Poor Brian. You gotta grow hay outside of the pens as well? Yeah, you're right. I know. I know. I know this. Hay. Hay grass. 
Hey, grass. Hey, grass. Uh oh, winter has begun. I don't think any of these sheep are going to survive this winter, honestly. It's going to be pretty rough. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go animals and alpacas and here we're going to deconstruct this and we're going to also deconstruct this and the alpacas can go live in there as well right they can they can coexist humps will move them Oh, humps is um, firefight, patient, bed rest. He can do some child care as well if he needs to. Basic stuff, warden. Sorry, my potential handle. colonist didn't work out, but it's nearly Growing 2 a.m. here, so I am going to bed. I hope the rimming goes well, Sips Love. Hey, um, Laura Lana, thanks so much. Good night. God bless. Sorry about your colonist. <laughs> we'll get you another one. Don't worry. Oh, man. It's the way she goes, you know? Some Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. All right, humps. Get back in there, you dummy. You got to prioritize resting. Your health. He's got a cracked rib cage. He's got a stabbed neck. And he's got a bruised right leg. But otherwise, he's going to survive. He's going to make it. This guy's going to make it. Okay, let's take some of this crap apart. Oh yeah, we need to probably cut some more trees and stuff too, right? Uh, orders, chop wood. Okay, let's do that. Oh, it's snowing. All right, we got a couple of meaty meals coming up. That's good. Many meaty meals. Maybe too many meaty meals. All right, rope up this little guy. And then when you're done that, can you please haul all of this hay in here, too. Good job, Chartres. Nice. Just this last little bit. Don't leave one little bit there, please. Okay, it's fine. Just gotta celebrate. Just gotta have a dupe. What's uh what's going on here with these heaters? Too much? What does each one use? Oh, 175 watts. So we got what do we have? 200 Plus, what's 175 times uh, 4? Alright, let's do this. See if this helps. So it's 20, 20, and 20. 21. Okay, yeah. So one, this one heater can power all this. 23, 22, 21. And then in here we got 21 and 21. I feel like if we put move this heater more to the middle, it would get both as well, right? Temperature, vent.
just to conserve our power a bit. If you click on something that needs power, you can see your excess power. Right. Target temperature, grid excess stored. None. Oh, we're out of wood now. Work. Is basic doing refueling and stuff? Release prisoners and flick switches on? How, what's, which, the, which is the one for refueling? Hauling. All oh, right, okay. Chartres and Boomer. Boomer. Oh, Boomer. Okay, Boomer, you can do it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're back in business, baby. Boomer is about to have a minor break because of awful bedroom underground or outdoors and just being outdoors generally. Boomer just doesn't like being outside much. How can we make it so Boomer is always inside and never outside? All right, nice. We might actually survive this winter at this rate. I feel like we could we could do it. We could potentially do it. Just make my base one big building? I don't want to do that though. I don't want to have just one big building. I don't like that. I don't like that. Spike trap made out of um, marble, silver, steel. Who needs warm clothes? Bella Rose. Oh, Bella Rose is, um, gown doesn't count as uh, warm clothes, apparently. What's she wearing under here? A Synthread flop hat, an alpaca wool burka, a Synthread t-shirt and Synthread pants. No good? She's freezing. Oh, neat. All right, what's next with the old monument? Select the monument. Do we need to do like uh, the, the other bits to it as well? Or is it all build a copy, select monument, open link quest? How do you do the rest of it? Oh, I need some slate. Slate blocks. Oh, it's slate flagstone. Okay. So we're going to need to make um, slate blocks. Ten. Wait. You can change it to a different material. Where? No, I don't think it lets me now. A bulk, a, a buck has self tamed. Buck one. 
I think we just slaughtered this buck, right? I don't want... I don't want bucks. I don't want any bucks. Buck one is a rival to rat one? I'm just gonna slaughter buck one. We need the meat. Oh, you can cancel the build order and do it with something else? Place flagstone. Place blueprints. Flagstone blueprints. It wants marble blocks only now. Oh, I see. Just do it like that. So we can do it with sandstone now. Humps is... Uh, there's an ancient danger in here somewhere. Pumps will never haul anything. Okay, good to know that there's an ancient danger in there. Because we only have marble? We should have uh, sandstone, but I think Bella Rose needs to actually prioritize cutting some of this stuff. Bills, so we don't need slate details. Drop it on the floor. The sandstone are all used on my road? I know, I know. Don't worry, we're doing it, look. We're getting there now. Hopefully they apply it to this. Okay, let's cancel all this work for now so that we can do the monument so that Humps can have his day in the sun. All right, good. Bella Rose has just cut up like a million blocks today. Perfect. The whole supply is being used up. Humps can butcher. That's good. Good job, Humps. Furniture. Um, let me get a another wooden shelf in here. This is going to store raw meat so that it doesn't go bad, right? Especially if we're ahead on meals, which sometimes we are. So, clear all. And in here we're going to have food. Raw food. Meat. Let's haul this stuff into the freezer so that it doesn't go off. Perfect. Look at all this meat. That's great. Humps doesn't smoke the sacred joint. He's not he's not quite there yet. Bella Rose can do a convert on him again though. Okay. He was upset. But his certainty has fallen to 30% now with his old faction. So we're getting there with him. Takes a little while. Cindy has given birth. Oh no, Cindy. Come on, eh? Come on, Cindy. We got mail. We got... Hey, look at this. Seal fax only 14 days old. Smoke leaf plant has died because of the cold. Potato plant, hay grass is all dying because of the cold as well. Orders, harvest. None of that is ready to be harvested. Uh, 
I think we do have to start culling the flock pretty soon. It's too too much, too much here. And uh, also, we need to make like a uh, a tailor uh, a, a a tailor uh, a tailoring studio with lots of storage because Christ, we have so much stuff. You always preferred Cindy over Barbie? Really? That's cool. It's interesting. That is interesting. Very interesting. Orders. Mine. Expand this cooler a bit. Humps tried to convert Chartres to his ideology. Chartres' certainty has fallen from 100% to 96%. Humps, don't you dare! Don't you do it! All right, Bella Rose. That son of a bitch. What a son of a bitch, eh? Okay, we gotta get some of this stuff stuff shifted. Send it up here. Boomer's meditating. The monument is complete. You must not destroy it for at least 15 days. Otherwise, you will anger the Empire of Copus. Okay. Humps received the title of Freeholder from the Empire of Copus. Nice. He's now a freeholder. What does that mean? Cisneros is needing help. Paul Olivier Paulo Bouchard, Holy Secretary of Hippabo, is requesting a favor. His friend, Ruslan Cisneros, is interested in learning about other cultures, and he wants you to host him at Dopamania for nine days. Cisneros will not do any work. Cisneros appreciates quality accommodation. You will gain goodwill with Hippabo if you keep his average move uh, mood above 50%. We could accept it for 31 Hyperweave or 14 Goodwill. We already have 16 with them. Or a Masterwork Recurve Bow and 240 Silver with an estimated street value of $405. But... We have to um, put we have to put him in uh, good accommodation and keep his average move mood above fifty percent. It sounds complicated. I don't think we're quite ready. I mean, look at this dump. We're just not equipped for that. I could have harvested his organs. Yeah, it's never too late, I suppose. But all right. Well, it's minus three degrees outside. It's not too bad. Start hauling some of this stuff out of the way. Maybe we could have just kept him high, actually, yeah. Oh man, Chartres loves hauling, huh? Really loves hauling. Okay, I think now at this crafting spot, Bill's. We don't want to do forever. Let's do it until we have... I mean, we only need, like... A hundred on hand at all times, right? <laughs> Wait, uh, it's going to come back and get... <laughs> we don't need that many. Okay. We can, we, can, uh, we can freeze all of this smoke leaf as well, right? We don't need a hundred. Because 
when when people come by to visit, we're, we're going to sell them this stuff as well, right? We're going to make a shit ton of money. Freeze them and sell them. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Once you get more colonists, you should you should for sure get the number up to 420. Yeah, okay, I will do that, but Man, Layla's been here forever. You know what? She's been all right though. She hasn't really caused any problems. It's been fine. She got attacked. She didn't die though. She got attacked by another warg. Oh my god. Look at all these animals. Holy shit. We got so many of them. Open the danger? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not opening the danger. We're going to keep a supply of 100 doobies on us at all times. I think. 99? We just need one more. Wait, she should stop in a second, right? We have enough stored? She's not stopping. Do until we have a hundred. Apparently, we don't have a hundred. Okay, finally, we have a hundred. Actually, we have more than that. We have a hundred and two. You keep a hundred doobies on you? Keep a hundred doobies on me. Bella Rose needs warm clothing, but... I don't know. I think she's probably fine. Try to connect to a different power net with, within my connection radius. So in the summer, we just got to turn these things off. Is there a way to automatically turn them off? Will they just not uh, fire if the if the room is above 21 degrees or whatever? You don't need to. Quest available. Secret compound ex excavation. Romanos, high stellarch of the Empire of Copus, has discovered an ancient complex a long distance away. He believes it contains information about the relic known as Stoned Artifact. Romanos can't spare people to look into it, but hopes you can help by supplying exactly three colonists to carry out the investigation. The complex contains unknown threats and is also being sought by Romanos' enemies. This is a fire home. He will send a shuttle to pick up your colonists, bring them to the complex, and take them home afterward. They will be fed and tended to en route. Once you have landed, you must hack all terminals in the complex within 3.2 days. They're hostile. This is a subquest of the revered stoned art stoned artifact you weren't listening do you think this is going to be too hard to do normal this the challenge rating is normal this is a general rating for how difficult the quest will be relative to your current strength more challenging quests give greater rewards you might have to fight one guy We still would need some people back home as well, yeah. Maybe we just don't do this now. We're not quite ready yet. We gotta get we gotta get we gotta do the training montage for humps and stuff as well, still, right? We haven't done that. We gotta fast track him. Bellarose and Chartres, I think, are making love right now. I don't know why Humps just burst into Boomer's room, but Boomer's now gonna be upset for the rest of the day. Oh, humps will actually cook food. Humps, are you an actual decent cook? Not really. He's got uh, skills of three. Okay, maybe don't do the uh, the cooking. You can do cooking, mining, hauling. Chartre will do the hauling as well. Let humps do the handling and the cleaning, and maybe some hunting as well. 
We'll have to give him a gun. He has really bad shooting skills. Whereas Boomer's actually getting pretty good at shooting now. I'm wasting my best tank. Yeah, you're probably right, you know. I'm probably not really going to uh, make him hunt. I think it's, yeah, I think you're right. Let's get him off of the hunting. He can do some uh, some cleaning up and stuff. Would be nice. Humps is not really the colonist that uh, we we asked for when we looked up to the sky and said Please, RN Jesus, send us somebody who can do some of the things that we need them to do. Humps, I mean, I guess he, I guess he can do good melee and probably be a tank. You know, we'll put some armor on him and stuff. He can wear the flak vest normal. Underneath his parka. Do you think the axe deals more damage? What, this one? The steel axe? Hit points 100, stuff, flammability, mass, work to make, beauty. Melee damage per second is 6.71. 20% armor pen. Whereas what he's got now, a plasteel knife, has 8.98 melee damage per second and 19% melee armor penetration. So actually this knife is better than the axe. Yeah, it's plasteel. Yeah, it's one of the ones that we started with. It's a plasteel knife. So many doobies. Oh my god, we're actually cutting stones. There's so little to do that we're now cutting. The monuments are hilarious, eh? Jesus. Do you think the warg has nibbled on any of these? Has there been any nibbles? Yeah. Nope. Neck, left leg, right leg, and left hand have been bitten off. Fresh. Is the shuttle here? The shuttle has arrived to collect Layla. Be sure to have these people on the shuttle before it leaves in three days. Layla. Okay. Chartra, can you please escort Layla to the shuttle, wherever she is? Where is Layla gone to? Oh my god. Forbidden alpaca love is happening in our field right now. That's the sky. Oh, okay, here. Carry Layla to the shuttle. Okay, Chartra. Try not to get bitten by Layla. Oh. Nice. Send it. Quest completed. You su you've successfully completed the quest. Poor little Layla. Nice. Pew. See you later, Layla. Nice. That was easy! That was so easy! Bye, Layla! <laughs> See you later! Oh, man. Really did it. Really, really, really did it there. That's good. That is nice. Um, install? Storage? no food um, we want manufactured we want textiles in here textiles only uh oh a little fire just one tiny little fire it was a bad some bad electrics it's okay. It's all right. It's 
See if we can get some more of this uh, this stuff ready to sell to whoever comes and trades with us next. The research goes a lot faster if it's in its own room. All right, okay, hang on, let me just check something. Do we need to kill this Ibex doe? I think we're actually okay for food for now. Uh, we, we're running out of meat, actually. Maybe it's time to take out this uh, this doe. This Ibex ram, I should say. Sorry. Let's see if we can get um, Be Bella Rose on it. Bella Rose can do it. If, if, if anybody can do it, it's Bella Rose. Do you think this thing is worth... Um, attacking and destroying it's got 600 hit points will it go big when it blows up like will it go boom and start a fire i bet you it will i'm not taking the the chance there's no way i'm taking that chance take a chance take a chance take a take a chance take a chance take a chance take a chance has Chartres become the gardener yet? No, actually, no. I'm going to make um, Chartres become the gardener in a sec. In the morning when we wake up. Humps, don't eat there. What are you doing? Why is Humps breaking into other people's rooms and waking them up? Stop doing this. Stop cleaning in the middle of the night. There's no need. Nobody wants you cleaning their room in the middle of the night, Humps. That's creepy. He just bursts in in the middle of the night. Just because this guy can't sleep. What the heck is his problem? Social? Bio? What the hell? He's got low expectations. He's high on smoke leaf. His recreation is fully satisfied. He received a freeholder title. He's in a spacious interior. He's comfortable. The rec room is slightly impressive. He's got a plasteel knife. He's in a decent dining room. He's being led by a doper. He's got tons of disliked xenotypes. He doesn't like the darkness. He's been rebuffed by Boomer, and he is disliked. He uh, he is a disliked Xenotype. Not for long, you're not. We're gonna convert your ass. Don't worry. You you will be become a doper, and you will enjoy it. He loves his knife. Yeah, I think his religion is like. Uh, I I think they worship the blade. I think that's why he likes it so much. He's a blade worshipper. Come on, Bella Rose. Figure it out. Chase it down. Nice shot. Holy crap. That's a huge shot. Really good. Okay, Chartres is still trying to do this battery research. Okay, Char Chartres. We're going to go into your social and assign you the role of garden knower. Plant specialist. Let's begin. What do we need to know about a garden knower? Humps is attending. Maybe this is going to convince Humps further to join. Maybe after he sees this, he's going to be like, yes. Yes, the dopers know what they're doing. I love dopamania. That's why I joined the colony in the first place. Okay. Successful role change. Perfect. So now let me just check to see what the garden knower needs. Required apparel is a cape. Okay, we're going to have to make a cape. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, how do you make a cape? Cape. Cape. Cowboy hat. Toque. Flop hat. We're going to need to make a flop hat for what's-his-face as well, right? Eventually. Cape. Okay, make 
make a flaw pat and a cape. All right, Bella Rose is on it. Okay, flaw pad has been made. It's not green like the other ones. Looks like the gardener's gonna have a brown cape. God, capes, it's like a masterwork. Look at how long it takes to make a cape. 250 work plus. That's insane. Okay, she's not ready to try another convert just yet. You can have multiple religions? I wonder if there's a religion that would work really well with ours, where they could, like, coexist or whatever. I think it will be, like, a wizard cape. Just a really boring wizard cape, though. Like the most boring wizard cape. We need to figure out how we can do this. Uh, you think we can just do the butchering inside the freezer or nah? No good. I think it's too cold to to place it in the uh, in the freezer, right? they have the butcher table in the freezer it makes sense for it to be there though floors let's get some wooden floors in here Bedtime for everybody soon. Alright, floors. More wooden floors. It's still minus five here as well. Let's move this along a little. Band zone. Deconstruct. Deconstruct all this stuff. Okay, we're going to keep the carcasses in here for now. There's a ritual opportunity soon. A ritual opportunity is coming soon for following rituals. The Supreme Jubilee on the 8th of December. 2.9 days before opportunity arises. What the heck does that mean? A Supreme Jubilee? I like the sound of it, but what is it? install this thing in here, right? The butchering table? Right next to where all the corpses are kept? I think we'll do that. 
and then we won't have uh, the contamination from uh, all the mess on the meals, right? I swear Humps doesn't sleep. He just doesn't sleep, this guy. You get a bad temperature penalty? Yeah, you do, but it's. I think it just affects your work speed, which I'm not too worried about. Whoa, what's going on here? There's like a big stink swirl developing. Someone sharded in there. Say it ain't so. I hate hearing that. I hate to hear that. Alright, auto slaughter should be in full effect. I don't know how many babies we want to keep. But I don't think we want to necessarily kill babies either. They're completely out of uh, stuff to eat. We got so many animals. The Cancer Psychers are now uh, raiding me as well. Cole and Wonsan. Not intellectual. Medical, plants, and mining, though. Social and construction on Wonsan. Which way are they going to hit me from? Probably around here, right? Okay. Bella Rose. Um, Chartre, let's hide you in here for now. Boomer, behind the tree. Humps. Get into melee range. Yeah, they're just going to come straight down here, I think. They're wearing sashes. cold out there. It's minus 9 degrees. What a day to do a raid. There's some more to the south? Oh yeah, there is one. You're right. Leslie. Huh. Well, we'll have to deal with these guys first, I think. Deal with the two and then deal with the one. Just attack them first? No, no, I'll wait for them to attack. I'm not a first... I'm not a, a an, an attack first person. I want to defend my base. This, this one will probably get hit by the traps and stuff, I thought I would have thought, right? We've actually got a pretty good spot to defend here. Cole's been hit already. Get him, Humps. Humps dodged. Get this guy, too. Yeah, nice. You got it. Okay, this guy is bio, social, and construction with shooting and melee. And six intellectual. Okay. Unwaveringly loyal. Let's try. Humps has been injured a little bit. Just a couple of just a couple of stabs. Nothing too bad. Oh wait, we're not ready just yet, right? Leslie is still coming. <laughs> okay, where's where's Bella Rose? 
Leslie's fucking dead. I mean, there's no chance, right? <laughs> Unwavering prisoner. Unsan is unwaveringly loyal to their home and will refuse to be recruited entirely. You can see whether someone is unwaveringly loyal by selecting them. Uh, that's annoying, actually. So we can uh, we can patch them up and uh, sell them as a sell them as a slave, or harvest their organs. Yes. Okay, attend to humps first, I think, Boomer. We don't really care if this guy dies, right? Leslie the Oaf. <laughs> Leslie the Oaf died. <laughs> we rearmed the trap. Okay, the, it looks like for now the, the, <laughs> the south is well protected. Humps did really good, yeah. Humps, Humps did some, some major stabbing. Just gotta rest up now. Head, jaw, left ear, torso, pelvis. All affected by the knife. This guy is in extreme pain. We're pretty we're pretty low on food again. We're gonna have to kill some of these deer out here. Get some meat in. Let's kill this one as well. I think some of these animals are just gonna start to starve to death as well, so we might have some more meat coming our way. See how we see if we can recover, and if not, I mean, uh, there's plenty more where where they came from, right? We just tame some more and build up the uh, the army once again. It's not a huge loss. I feel like if you have a whole uh, pen full of animals in the winter, it's just backup food, right? I'm not overly attached to them. Is there any other animals down here? No. Where did that tortoise go? He's hibernating. He must be hibernating somewhere. Use the wildlife tab to find animals? Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry. So there's some stallions, rares. There's lots of boomalopes. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about the wildlife tab. I know that it exists, but I just, I forgot all about it, you know? Well, another, another successful uh, uh, raid defense. We did pretty good. Yeah, boomalopes, they will, they will F you up big time. Not even once. 91% grown. Fuck. Fudge. Once we can get the, um, the beacon and we can get some trade rolling, we'll be fine, eh? It's just, it's just surviving up until that point. Big flash storm. <laughs> Burr, bro. <laughs> Shit. Run horses. We just need a bit of rain now. Alright. Good. Boomer can make some meals now. He's feeding the prisoner. Oh man, I don't know. 
If we can sell this guy into slavery, it's a decent amount of money, right? We're never going to be able to convert him. Good job, Humps. Well, Humps is all over it. He got out of bed just for this. could strip him. Prisoner. No interaction. We could do a hemogen farm on him. Let's do that. What's that? Is, is it just blood packs? We're just going to suck a, a bunch of blood out of them. Yeah. Nice. A hemogen pack. So we want to store... Not drugs. Medicine? No. What would that come under? Hemogen pack. It's a food. A package of refined hemogen in a specialized container that prevents spoilage. Hemogenic humans can consume it to restore their internal hemogen stores. It can be administered via an, uh, via an operation to reverse blood loss. Oh, neat. So it it doesn't need to be frozen or anything. It can it can just live in here. Feed it to humps. Why does humps need it? Moving, talking, eating. Blood pumping. His blood his blood pumping and filtration is all fine though. Does he actually need some? It's only if he's really low on blood, I guess, right? Alright. We've got some meat now. we got some meat. We're making some meals. We're not as low on food as we once were. It's annoying that he's got to do this. Maybe we should move the kitchen into this room. It would make more sense, right? Get medicine skill by amputating the legs off of the prisoner. <laughs> I guess I could. So we got we got to use up so much medicine though. But then I suppose if somebody loses a leg, we'd have a spare one. I think all these sheep are going to die, by the way. They're all going to starve. Would they eat kibble? Probably not, right? They just want to eat, like, grass and stuff. Turn them all into pirates with peg legs and hands, and then send them back. What if I let them roam? They have a chance of surviving? Female, age 7. A female you, age 7. Humps is fully healed. One sand is no longer incapable of walking. We might steal some more blood from him. Oh, there's a turkey. A uh, turkey has entered the building. Bella Rose got a lot to do, a lot of hunting to do, but she's going to skill up like crazy. Man, does Humps ever sleep? I don't think he, he needs to sleep ever. Why isn't he tired? Why doesn't this guy ever tire? Oh, never mind. He's asleep. Okay. He does, so he does sleep. 
at this clown. Look at Leslie. What were you thinking, Leslie? You don't just walk through a steel trap, you dummy. Fucking idiot. Fucking stupid idiot. What were you thinking, Leslie? What were you thinking? Who knows, eh? Who knows what the heck Leslie was thinking? She was thinking, oh no, I'm dead. <sighs> what a dummy. What a dumb idiot. Shonoban, did you get culled? I don't think you have, actually. There's lots of babies, though. What were you, a sheep? Are you, were you a baby? Cindy, Reggie, Seal Facts? Seal Facts is one. Uh oh, a mad boomalope. Oh shit, it's a big one. It's a real big one, and it's gone mad. Bella Rose. Open fire. Don't hold back. Fire. Fire. Okay, run now. Oh my. There's a couple of fires um, burning. Incapable of firefighting. Humps? You better get over here quick. The whole place is burning down. Anybody else want to help with firefighting or just going to leave it to Humps? Thanks, Boomer. Oh, shit. Humps, your whole bedroom's going to burn down now. Medical treatment needed? Uh-oh. Bella Rose has the plague. Preach health. Alright, Boomer, you're gonna have to treat Bella Rose immediately for the plague. You gotta use the best damn medicine as well. If we lose Bella Rose, it's all over. Okay, let's see. Plague Miner? 5.6? Immunity Rising? Plague Miner is rising quite quickly as well. Is there anything that we can do to like... I think we're going to catch up though. You can preach health to yourself? No, you can't. 9.2? Oh, actually, the plague is rising quite fast. 10 quality is 33%. Can be tended in 10 more hours. Oh, look. It stopped kind of at 11%. Holy shit, it's getting away from us. What can we do to slow it down? Can we give her some blood? No, all that stuff is fine, right? The only thing you'll catch is more plague. She's dead. Ten hours. This guy's probably dead too, right? The plague. Oh no, his immunity is catching up. Hers, not so much. Still far behind. Bed quality helps as well. We're using our the our best medicine available. 
It could be that Bella Rose dies here. Have gold make a medic bed? No, I do not have gold, sadly. Oh man, we cannot lose Bella Rose. It's gonna be really rough without Bella Rose. The Plague Miner is, is getting ahead. Community gain is slowed if they are hungry as well, so make sure she's well fed. She's being fed right now. 26? 27? We can do another tend in five hours. Uh oh. <laughs> we need to begin as slow to fair, not high. So make sure she's well fed. Wait, do you think Supreme Jubilee Opportunity? Every year on the 8th of December, the Hyperseanists can have a special celebration. To begin the ritual, select one of the following and click the Begin Supreme Jubilee. Command a lit campfire at a ritual spot. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to do that. We got somebody on their deathbed in here. The, the, the plague is getting ahead. Okay. Boomer, please, you gotta wake up and do attending. We're using our best medicine here. 10 quality was uh, 18 that time. Not the best. Maybe it slowed it a little bit? No, it, it doesn't seem to have. High is so bad for immunity gain. You think she's gonna die? She might. She might recover. You never know. It's looking bad though. It's looking pretty bad. There's like a there's like a five percent gap now. Make sure the room is clean before tending. The room is as clean as it's gonna get. It is dirty, apparently. Let's make sure it's clean. So we can do another 10 in 10 hours. She might last until then, I don't know. Quick harvester organs. Use preach health. I can't preach health on myself. She is the, the health preacher. She can't self preach. How's this guy doing? Uh, he might die as well. This guy got a 40% quality tend. Which is pretty, pretty nice. It's really good. When's she ready for another one? Oh my god. This thing is really getting away from us now. Tending in 8 hours. Fuck. You can also role swap someone else to be preacher, though it'll make them mad. Yeah, I suppose I could, right? Well, Humps won't take it. Bella Rose can try to convert Humps, do a last minute convert. I don't think it'll work, though. Ooh, a psychic soothe on females. That's pretty nice. I keep reading the wrong time. No, it says can be tended in four hours. How am I? I'm not reading the wrong time. Take her kidneys or her liver. Tending expires in six hours. So we're going to tend again in one hour. 
Oh no, we lost a whole bunch of smoke leaf. Okay, let's make sure that the room is clean. It looks clean to me. It's clean. Neutral beauty. It's a cramped space. Okay, boomer. You got to do your best your best ever tend. We need 100%. <laughs> this is our last chance. I think she'll die. It's 61! Oh, that's pretty good. Just gotta slow it down a little bit. That's decent. It's not bad. It might work. We might have some space to, to catch up. A drone data hack. You've detected an orbiting space drone that may contain information about stoned artifact. You have the code that will force it to land at Dopamania. To get the information, hack into the drone's computer. Hacking takes time, but those strong in, in intellectual skill can speed up the process. We have none. Okay. We can't do it. We don't have anyone with intellectual skill, sadly. How's this looking? Oh, it's still going quite fast, actually. The immunity is not rising nearly fast enough, right? We're about 9% off. Oh, it's still it's still increasing quite fast, right? She's not high right now. Do you think it would help if she was high? Wow, we finished researching battery. <laughs> Oh my lord, auto door, hydroponics, advanced lights, xenogenetics, um, noble apparel, pemmican, carpet making. Oh, carpet making might be nice, right? Smithing, which leads to machining, drug production, which leads to medicine production, geothermal power, packaged meal survive. I mean, we could do geothermal power will take forever. Like, forever. Biofuel? Biofuel ref refining? Build biofuel refineries to make chem fuel for biological matter like wood or foodstuffs. You think biofuel is, is, the, is the one? Start saving on some of our wood? You think biofuel is pog? Okay, fine. Let's go for it. I think she's dead. I don't think we're going to catch up to it now. It's still it's still uh, rising so fast. Look, 9%. I don't know if there's anything else we can do to, to stop it. She can be tended another 10 hours. Let her die high. Ugh. Oh, we're at 8% eight, eight now. We're slowly catching it. Jeez, I wonder if we can maybe just pip it. No. You don't think a pip is possible? No, no possible pippage? There's a medical emergency brewing. Bella Rose is going to pass away. Bella Rose passes away, we lose uh, we lose a lot of uh, stuff, right? Construction, melee, shooting, artistic, and social. Oh, it's going to be rough as hell. Gosh, it's going to be really rough. She can have uh, she can have another tend in four hours. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Put that bitch on ice. Strip before she dies so you don't lose the clothes.
Look, we're closing the gap. Maybe this last tend. If we can get like one more tend in, maybe it'll work, you know? She needs food. I can't feed her. I could strip her though. There's no option to feed her. <laughs> can't romance her while she's uh, dying either. Does she actually need... Uh, she can't eat. Her eating is very poor. Her consciousness is only 35%. Her breathing is quite bad as well. She's dead. Okay, let's take her clothes so they're not considered dead man clothes, right? Okay, and another thing we're going to do is health operations, add a bill. Um, we're going to, uh, let's administer a, what does Ambrosia do? Soft rare fruit inversion tastes wonderful and produces a subtle mood increasing chemical high. However, if eaten too often, it can generate a mild addiction. It's not really going to help much, is it? Okay. Okay, boomer. What? We're missing a smoke leaf joint? How? That tons. What the hell? It says that we're missing a smoke leaf joint. There's, it's impossible that we're missing one. We have 108. Right click on the joints. You can't. It doesn't let you. Try again. Oh, it's because Humps was having one? Ninety-five percent. Come on, Boomer, you can do it. Get in there quick. Get her her final joint. There you go, Bella Rose. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh no. Maybe because it's like part of her religion, it's just gonna slow things down like crazy. No. Nah, it hasn't. It's all right. I think the prisoner is gonna survive, so at least that's the main thing. Oh no, <laughs> this is so bad. Oh no. There's an internment of dope opportunity for Bella Rose. You can hold a dopest funeral for Bella Rose. To begin the ritual, select a grave containing Bella Rose's corpse and click the begin internment of dope command. Okay. Misk Grave Okay. Who can even who can even dig this? We don't have anybody that can even do construction. We're so fucking dead. <laughs> we can't build anything. We cannot build a single thing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. that we don't want, we just want colonist corpses right no empty accessible spot configured to store it what I just did colonist corpses all right we got to keep her on ice for a bit until we can sort this out. Nobody's going to want to go in there and do any work now. It's going to be too upsetting. 
Erica, I'm sorry you miscarried because of starvation. I know, it's not the best. Man. Poor Bella Rose. Okay, as soon as we can dig a grave, <laughs> we'll, we'll do a funeral for As soon as we can. Construction? Oh, we, we do have people that... Boomer and Humps can both construct, but they have really terrible skills. Okay, Boomer. She can't even dig a grave. All right. We're going to assign Bella Rose to this one. Uh, to begin the ritual, select a grave containing Bella Rose's corpse and click the begin interment of dope command. Okay, we'll do that. As soon as she's buried. Oh, that's good. At least we managed to bury her. So we're going to do the... Inter okay, so... Speaker... This position is best done by a colonist holding the social role of giggler. Well, we lost our giggler. We don't have a moral guide present. Who's going to be our new giggler now? It can't... Wait a sec, humps. No, he can't do it. But he is wearing a flop hat. He's decided to... to try to fit in a little bit wearing the uh wearing the uh flop hat right okay we're gonna have to change his role then social sign role giggler to chartre okay and then the giggler we can do the internment of dope on bella rose who sadly is rest in peace dead just just gone And on the third day, she rose from the dead. <laughs> oh. Well, it's... Okay, good. Now, let's do the... Perfect, perfect. Okay, we're reading the, the final rites here for Bella Rose, who... Sadly, died of the plague um, in uh, in a, in a bed in the hospital, which was not very clean. Uh, under the care of Boomer, who was not a very good doctor, and um, just wasn't able to catch up with the percentage of the plague. Rest in peace. A lackluster interment of dope took place. The speech was long-winded and failed to resolve any emotions. Everyone participating in the rit ritual gains minus one mood for six days. Interment of dope total quality was 58% determined by these factors. The moral guide was present, 30, plus 30% 30 quality. Two out of 10 participant counts, plus 12% quality. Low expectations, 15%. Due to the poor quality of the ritual, no development points were gained. Well, there we go. Bella Rose, fully dead. Humps, it's down to you now to be uh, the best hunter that money can buy. You're going to have to go out there and just learn the way of the gun. You're just going to have to learn how to do it. Yeah, he's doing it. He's shooting at something. Oh, it's a turkey. Humps, practice makes perfect. Don't worry, you got unlimited ammo. However, <laughs> however long it's gonna take, it's gonna take. She died how she lived, fucking miserable. I th do you know what? If you look back on like a, on, on you know, like a montage with music on the life of Bella Rose, she had some happy moments. She shared a bed with her husband, Chartres, who is now single and ready to mingle once again. Which is pretty good. He has no social skills, though. They made love at least once that I saw. So, 
I mean, that has to mean that they were somewhat happy. Um, she built many, many structures. Let's not forget, she pretty much single-handedly built this whole base as we see it right now, which is not too bad. Um, what else was she good at? She smoked a couple of dubs, and let's not forget, she rolled up a couple of dubs as well. It was pretty nice. Um, she killed a couple of raiders. Very important as well. Resurrect serums do exist. You might want to keep her preserved a bit better. Oh, yeah. Suppose it. How do you preserve them? Uh, I guess you can't resurrect their, their bones, right? Do they have to be in pretty good condition? They can't be completely decayed. So we'd have to have like a, a freezer for dead colonists that is only ever accessed when a colonist died. I don't know if I really want to do the whole resurrection thing. I feel like she's gone onwards and upwards, you know. Got to keep moving forward. You can put a sarcophagus in the freezer. Okay, well, I mean, that's... Chartres is about to have an extreme break. I'm not surprised either. I mean, let, let's let face it. This guy just lost his wife. His his wife, Bella Rose, died. There. He collapsed. Boomer, you're going to have to rescue him. Boomer to the rescue. We can't leave him out there in the snow. <coughs> All right. He lost his garden knower role, which he hated as well. His friend died. His wife died. This hospital is awful. He just wants to wear some giggler apparel. He hasn't smoked any dubs in some time. Looks like all of the uh, sheep are dying now as well. <laughs> oh, no. Chartres has gone catatonic. Do you think he could still smoke a, 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 a smoke leaf joint if somebody administers it to him in that state? Yes. Okay, Cindy the alpaca is also dead. So It's all right. We'll get some more animals in the spring, right? We just weren't equipped. We just weren't equipped for this many animals. It all started with one alpaca, and then all of a sudden, boom. We just have like a million animals, and we have no food for them. Chartres passed out. I think he just had an emotional breakdown because of uh, his wife dying, you know? Okay, it's time to slaughter all of these animals. There's no point in nursing them back to health. Dowie's dead. Sorry, Dowie. Sorry that you died. Okay, we're going to slaughter this one as well. Who's uh who's our slaughterer? Is it Humps? Oh, it's Humps. God, it's Humps. Can Reggie died as well? All the animals are dying. Think of all this food that we're going to have, though. We'll never be hungry again. Paolo's cache of treasure. Paolo, Holy Secretary of Hippabo, has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth a thousand dollars not far from us. The collection consists of tech print brain wiring paulo says that two man hunting yorkshire terriers are wandering nearby and there may be an unknown threat 
All right. Well, we're kind of dealing with a big death right now of um, a colonist. So maybe we'll do that um, after or some other time. Oh, look at this. Little tiny Tina is dead as well. Only one years old. Sad, eh? There's just no food. What can you do? Alpaca 1 has survived, though. It is uh, it is really the mid middle of winter, though. I mean, what can you do? All right. He's asleep. His high expectations have been met. Boomer has got uh, a break risk coming up as well. High life is... Okay, Boomer, you got to get on it. I don't know why you delay this so much. Just make it part of your every day. Wake up in the morning and just hit it. You'll feel so much better for it. Okay, good. See? Can you check how long he's a vegetable under the health tab? What chartres? Um, he's had a catatonic breakdown. He's also stoned on smoke leaf for the next 10 hours. Uh, moving, manipulation, talking, and eating is all very tough for him. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to come back. Yeah, it doesn't give you a number. You're right. Well, we've managed to harvest a lot of blood from one sand, it seems. Somebody's been eating it all as well, I think. Because there was more than two, I'm sure. Humps is still out here trying his best to hunt stuff. How's his skills coming along? Okay, he gained one shooting skill. He just gave up shooting. He's going to bed. He's just so annoyed at how bad he is at shooting. It's just going to take a little while for him to skill up, you know? He's got a passion for hunting. He just doesn't have a... Um, he just doesn't have a passion for shooting. Why did somebody... Oh, it was Chartres who left the uh, that meal there. He's letting all the heat out. He's letting all the heat out of the dining room. Passion but no talent. He should play Overwatch. <laughs> Maybe he should be on their dev team as well, eh? No? <laughs> Sorry, not their dev team. I should say their design team. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Bold of me to assume that they have passion. Tiny Tina has died. Uh, so I'm sorry, Chad, if you like Tiny Tina, I'm sorry for your loss. She just died. She's dead. She's gone. We lost Tiny Tina. I, I, I got a feeling that this is Tiny... No, it's Lamb 2. Maybe Tiny Tim survives. Vacant Nobody's still alive. No, I think Tiny Tim is long gone. Lamb 2 just died as well. They're all dying. They're all dead. What are you shooting at? Still trying to hit this rabbit. Oh my god, man. Unbelievable. It's going to take him forever to get good at shooting. Just forever. You didn't like Tiny Tina and you're glad. All right. All right, now come on. Everybody liked Tiny Tina. What? What? What's? What's not to like? She was. She was great. She was the life and soul of the party. Maybe you should 
should build a wall for him to shoot at. He might actually hit it. No, he won't. He'll miss it. I suppose he could probably practice shooting at this car as well, right? Maybe we just get him down here to shoot at this car. Come on, humps. He's doing it. Look, he's doing it. Is he skilling up while he's doing this? Not really. No, not at all, it turns out. His progress to next level learn, learn level is eight, 1846 out of 2000. Oh, does that mean that he's almost uh, gonna... Hunting worksite nearby controlled by the Mulp Puo Federation. Alright, let's let him blow this thing up and see what happens. Really struggling on the last 60 health here. Alright. Good job, I guess. I don't know. Man, this humps is so dumb. He's so dumb. We gotta get Chartre back. He just can't handle what's happened at all. There's an ancient danger inside the car? No, that was not. He hit something. He killed it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's no longer an utter beginner. He's just a beginner. He actually killed a rabbit. Can't believe it. He's just got to... This is what he's just got to do all the time now, right? Pretty much. Hunting rats and hares and stuff is a great way to train. Yes, for sure, right? Squirrels, rats, hares, some raccoons. Alpaca one just died. He'll get there. He'll get there eventually, look. Every time he shoots his gun at a rat. Bang, look at that, 339. Yeah, let's just leave him out here. and He can do a big uh, training montage while we're not even paying attention to him, right? At least he keeps him busy. At least he's not cleaning up people's rooms while they're sleeping and stuff, right? That's a... That's a solid... He put in some solid work there, honestly. I think he did pretty good. Health? No. Nope. Still in bad shape. Shooting a gun at night is much more subtle. I suppose, yeah. Do we want to just release this guy or what? So that we don't have to feed him anymore? Wow, wait. No, he's worth 1,235 bucks. We're definitely going to sell him to some slavers. You can enslave them to use them for cleaning? Enslave. Wardens will threaten the prisoner to reduce their will. Once they have no will left, the warden will enslave them. Do we want to enslave one sand? I think um, I think our religion does not like s slavery. It's disapproved of. We can't enslave him. You can still sell him if he's enslaved. Yeah, I know, but then I think uh, my guys are gonna be all pissed off. 
I don't know, though. Maybe humps won't be. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what Humps' uh, religion is all about. He could become a berserker, so maybe it's like some bloodlusting thing or something. I don't know. Um, okay, listen. I gotta save and quit to the menu because it's late and I gotta go. Um, good session, though. <laughs> we did good. We lost somebody. We lost somebody. We gained somebody, though. We gained Humps, to be fair. Um... I don't know. It's not over. I, we can we can recover. I'm sure. We can maybe do a late night stream as well if I'm around tonight. If I can, if I can get out here at a decent time, we can we can carry on do do some chill uh, late night. I'm pretty into this, so we can we can do it. If I'm not too tired, I've been pretty tired recently. I've had a lot to do. There's a lot going on in the old uh, in the old uh, Sips um, IRL universe. Lots of stuff. The addiction is setting in. Man, it is very fun though, isn't it? Uh, listen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Um, I might be back later. If I'm not back later, I don't know if I'll be around on the weekend. I might be. We got a busy weekend, but uh, th there's a chance. There's always a chance. Um, and uh, failing all of that, I will be back on Monday. Although, I think Monday Monday and Wednesday next week are going to be kind of fucked. Like, I don't know. Um, Wednesday, I might not stream at all, depending. Monday, I might uh, start after my kids get back from school. Because I have some shit to do in the morning. When the kids are back at school, I'll have to go pick them up at like 3. But then I can come back, do a bit of RimWorld, and then we can do Canadian gaming. Because I think the guys are back next week. So maybe we can play some, ob continue that obelisk run, which is pretty fun. Um, but otherwise, I, I think it's, uh, I think it'll be, other than those two days, I think it'll be a normal-ish week. We'll see. How's the garden? Oh man, I haven't done anything to the garden. I do want to do some stuff to the garden. It's just finding the time to do it. Um, I don't know. I'll figure something out though. Uh, listen, thanks for the uh, support. Thanks for the subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. As usual, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, have a good one. Uh, I'll try to be back later so we can carry on and do some more. And um, yeah, I'll see you either later or uh, over the weekend or uh, failing all that Monday for sure. All right. All right, chat. LOL. Lots of love. Peace. Have a good one. Bye now. Bye.